Hello everyone. I'm a couple minutes early because I'm just ready to go. Anybody here? Anybody here? I saw chats before I went live, but. Hello. I'm just gonna log back into my chat thing again. Just to double check it's actually working because I only see the Twitch comments coming through as tends to be the trend. I should just have this tab open every stream. <laughs> Cause literally all I gotta do is toggle the bot off, toggle it back on. <laughs> Hello everybody. It looks complicated, I don't envy you. <laughs> I've actually had this thing for quite a long time. Do you see YouTube now? Yes, I do. I've had this kit for quite a while now because some friends got it for me for I think my birthday. And I've had it for like over two years now. And I'm finally making it. And I'm nervous because like, <laughs> look at all this. And like the instructions are kind of small. I feel like I'm gonna be squinting at all this. Because <laughs> it'll be like, here's how you make the chair. It's like this. That's all you see. Maybe that's all you need, but... <laughs> scared. And some stuff has to be painted, too. So, is painting the first step? Remove the part. Find wood parts based on the illustration paper. Paint the part. Okay. So maybe I can lay it down on here to paint as like my little paint catcher. <laughs> I've never been able to catch Bailey live. Here I am now, hooray. Is this a real life miniature? Yes. This cafe. I've got the picture on screen, but it's like so small, <laughs> but a little Once cafe. A member, a Here's some close ups. <laughs> so, this is probably going to take me so many live streams Once to get member, through. But it could just be something I slowly chip away at, much like the diamond paintings, you know? <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Oh my god, Mariono, thank you for the nine months. Joy, thank you for the eight months. Shirinal, thank you for the nine months. And Ingrid, thank you for the nine. I gotta scroll down and see if the alerts below it are older, current. Older, okay. Whew. I make miniatures for a living and have always Once watched your lives whilst making for years. So this is, so this is crazy. <laughs> I'm infiltrating your brain. So is green door frame the first thing we do? Probably. But like, look at how many pages are in here. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. Oh, the props are gonna be cool. <laughs> Silver kettle, coffee pot, lantern, oil lamp. Oh my God, Leslie, thank you for gifting 20 memberships. <laughs> 20, uh, mama mia, thank you. Oh God, so small, little mugs, and it keeps going. Cloth bag, book, candle, wrought iron rack, Once a member, always suitcase, a member. hanging ornament. So Grace, you thank you. Again. <laughs> Thank you for the 48 months. 
vase, plant two, plant, oh, plant one, plant two, plant three, plant five, oh, there's plant four, plant five, six, seven, eight, nine, lamp, tree, oh my God. Wait a minute, you're making me bend the wire and then glue the little leaves on? Oh no. Okay, well I'm not looking forward to the tree. Stairs, here's some assembly. Oh God, okay. Let the gifties rain. <laughs> w Leslie. <laughs> I've been following since 2016 Bumble Bailey channel. You're an absolute doll. I miss that channel, honestly, but happy you continue on here forever subscriber. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We got our two angles. I'm gonna keep it on autofocus all day, so hopefully that works out. <clears throat> Cause then I can show stuff up, up close easily and I can zoom in and out without having to reset the focus. It'll be great. So green door frame. Oh gosh. Okay, <laughs> let's get a knife. Uh, oh, where did my knife go? It's usually two lying around. Here's one. <sighs> we got a little thicky there. And then Midna, you can kind of see her through the pink cart. That's her little brown butt. Right there. Come say hello. My least favorite part of miniatures is painting. <laughs> the sound going in and out, is it just me? I don't know, is it? Hi, Brooklyn. <laughs> hello, Neeties. <laughs> That's what she calls the cats. People are saying sounds good. Okay. Followed since the huge spider and blue hair. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh wait, let's switch back to this. Oh, he went upstairs. I thought we'd get a chiss sighting. Okay, this looks like the door. Wait. Yes. Okay. Oh gosh, so many little pieces. I noticed some of the painting things. Where did I read that? Oh yeah, here, it's like, Mix brown and white one to like one to two. So I have to like measure out this freaking paint. I'll probably just do an approximation color, you know. That huge spider thumbnail was a crime. <laughs> Did you get this from Amazon? I got it from friends actually, it was a gift a while back. Can't see anything nor hear. Hmm. Well, I can't really respond because you won't hear me. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. It looks hard, yeah. And there's so much stuff I'm gonna need the tweezers for, trying to glue tiny things. This will be interesting. But it's gonna be so cute. Lulu, thank you for the six months. Can you please make Midnight Rain into a diamond painting? Okay, okay. I contacted Diamond Art Club about doing more diamond paintings and they make people vote on them. 
So I've submitted three designs, which is Little Duckies, Tulip Bun, and Midnight Rain. And so if you see like a survey or whatever, like where do they put those? Do they email you? I'm not familiar with it. So let me know so I can tell people where to go. I signed up for their email list specifically for this, but also if you see voting is open, do notify me. So the designs are submitted, but people gotta vote for them. Hey, this stuff's pre-painted. Gil, thank you for the membership. They vote on Facebook, I think. VIP group on Facebook. Okay. Ooh, I'll have to try to join it. <laughs> I gotta rig this election. <laughs> I just got to notify people when voting's open, you know. Okay, this piece looks like it's gonna be hard to pop out. It looks delicate. It mentions cutting off part A as shown, but like it's kind of separate. I feel like it's just gonna separate as I pop these pieces out, which is good because it's supposed to be removed, but it makes it seem like they want you to paint it before that pops off. Good use of the sound. Hi, Claire, I'm good. Bailey literally doing another art hobby I want to do. <laughs> I've had this since before we even moved to Calgary. So this has been sitting around begging to be made. Okay, we need that piece. Here's a piece. Oh, cute. There's extra detail on the other side. Oh, careful. That's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Won't I lose this detail, though, when I paint it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows how thick this paint is? Oh, is that supposed to be two separate pieces? Because it definitely broke into two separate pieces. Honestly, wait, where is this piece? Is it for something else? Ooh. Uh oh, okay. But there's also one more thing to pop out here. Now it would be easy to paint them if they're just like still in this, but then you don't have the sides painted. Plus it might glob and make it hard to pop out. Okay. Oh God, don't lose anything. This one side is a little broken. I might have to glue it. Oh yeah, it's like the pieces of wood splintered. It's like flat, a little flap. So that's a bit broken. But I think it'll be okay in the end because it gets glued down onto this. So, that is a sticker, I'm assuming. Or what? what is that and where is it? M2, M19. Oh, they're just papers. 
you cut out and glue on. Okay, okay. Because I wasn't sure if this was the wood that had to be left unpainted, but it goes on top, so I can just fully paint it. Okay. Let's start with the painting then, I guess. And I guess this is our painting tray. So, the front and side of the part, A14 and A16 green. Right, because that's good, that's this, this piece. This is gonna get, we only need to paint one side of it, like the front and the sides. Same with these because they're gonna get glued down. So we don't need to paint the backside. Okay. Would you make Midnight Rain round or square drills? Oh, I don't make them. Diamond Art Club makes them, so I don't know. They'll do whatever Once they a want. Member, always a member. A13 was those small pieces. Oh, right here. And they'll be brown. And where? <laughs> Maybe they go somewhere else to be used later for mounting the door. Because I don't see them on the doorway. So we need to color them just straight up green. No mixing required. What types of drills do you like more? I think I like the square ones a bit more. I think they're for the awning. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I see it in the full picture now, which I guess we do later. Wait, should I cut these apart? Maybe not. Cute. Do they include, oh, there is a paintbrush. Okay, we've got some tools in here. Oh my God, look at all the little metal pieces. Oh my gosh. And I cannot believe they're making us build the tree from scratch. <laughs> like it makes sense by like bending all the wire, gluing all the little leaves on, oh God. Some rogue bristles poking out of the bottom here. Oh really, Munish? What? Come a little closer, baby. She's just out of you. Oh. I feel like I missed not only a chapter, but a book. You're back on Twitch Bales. Yeah, I'm just, I'm multi-streaming now. Since Twitch officially allows it, I was like, let's try it. <laughs> Bluey merch at Hot Topic. Hello, I'm Ivy, I'm 10 by the way. Me and my mom love to watch your videos so much. Hi Ivy. <laughs> if you had it that long, I'm surprised the paint looks usable. That's true, that should have been motivation to do this earlier. At least I have paint to, oops. I have paint to do like a backup. If I, uh, if it was dried up, I've got spares. Wait, should I do the side first? Maybe, this one's so broken. I'm scared. Ah, see that little piece that was slivered just popped right off. Maybe I should just rip it off because like it gets glued down later, right? 
So like, it'll get glued onto this piece. Careful, SpongeBob! Midness so baby. I've done lots of these miniatures. It's fun to do, but takes time and joy. <laughs> Definitely a multi-stream long activity. The sides are the tricky part. Eh? And it mentions, it says, let it dry completely, paint again after dry for better effects. So they basically saying to do two coats. Oh, okay. It's kind of blobbing on the back. I need to wipe off the excess. Which is basically <laughs> pseudo painting it. Like I might just give up and paint the sides when it's flat on the table, but the thing about that is it can pool and be clumpy along the edge. I should use like the little tweezers or something <laughs> to hold it down. Put gloves on before you ruin your nails. Eh, the paint washes off. Then gloves would just be like, I'm not gonna work paint miniatures with like, <laughs> some of these pieces are so tiny. I'm not gonna have enough dexterity with gloves on. Okay, this one, let's maybe just try it doing it like this. I'll just make sure if it's globby to wipe away the globs or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Need magnifying glasses here. Yeah. One of those ones that's on an arm and just pull it over. Are you ready for Survivor to return tonight? I was just thinking that. Probably like at the same time you sent that message. <laughs> I am excited. Got Survivor tonight, Love is Blind. So much to watch tonight. The glasses you flip up and down. It's hard to tell if I got all the edges. Miniatures are your thing. If you attach some washi to your tape, to your table, sticky side up, you can place the super tiny pieces on the tape to hold them steady while you paint. I do it often. Ooh, that's a good tip. <laughs> I'm struggling with this and this is one of the big pieces. <laughs> I 
I'm guessing you've been watching the new live action Avatar. Yeah, we spent all of Thursday watching it. <laughs> I had to take a break to pack orders and then I like later that night had to edit the vlog. So I was like suffering editing late at night, but it was worth it. I think the show was really good. Not perfect, but still pretty good. Especially for, you know, live action. <laughs> and I was like looking online after the fact, cause I was like, I gotta see people's reactions. <clears throat> well, like immediate, like the day the show was released, like that night when I was looking around, the Avatar subreddit was mostly positive. And maybe it's changed since, I don't know. But, and then when I checked Twitter, it was like, everyone was so mean. It was like, <laughs> it was like completely different audience. back to tweezers what are these even oh they're plastic <laughs> they look like metal but they're not typical twitter experience that's twitter for you i know <laughs> right when i do miniatures i give up halfway through and forget about it for months because the details are so difficult <laughs> I definitely anticipate this taking me months because like it'll be a stream activity for me and I'm gonna stream a lot of other stuff in between the miniature streams, so. Okay, those will need another coat, but that's that for now. Now. Wait, wait, this says, wait, is this? Oh, front, back and side part. Although I feel like the part that's getting glued down doesn't need the backside painted, like this thing. Because isn't it getting glued onto the base? Yeah. But by that same logic, the front of this wouldn't have to get painted, but I probably will paint front and back of the big piece. Done about seven of them now. They're so fun and relaxing. That's a lot of them. Once a member, always a member. That's like your ducky painting with the candle. <laughs> See, yes, Stephanie, because paint will cover the glue. Oh, glue it, then paint it. The thing is, though, there's like a piece of paper that goes in this window. So if you glued it down, you would be painting on top of the sticker. Like it's not just these wood pieces getting glued on, they're stickers too. Well, they're pieces of paper that I gotta glue on like a sticker. <laughs> Bayleaf, thank you for the nine months.
Once a member, always a member. I'm like making a mess on <laughs> the other parts. Maybe I should stick to the green area. Never. Just got the Animal Crossing edition Switch light. Having fun getting back into it. <laughs> Super Irish chick, thank you for the nine months. Okay. Next. Once a member, always a member. Got a new switch yesterday. Forgot to transfer my old island over. I thought I lost all 1,300 hours of work. And Sheikah, thank you for the nine months. I did a coffee shop kit like this. It took literally 20 hours. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna feeling it's gonna take me longer than that. But I guess I am also live streaming. <laughs> okay, get this away from the glob. Okay, there's coat number one on those pieces. <laughs> now the big one. The big one. I don't think front or back matters on this. Stop crying, it won't do any good. And anyway, you have a lot of work to do, starting right now. <laughs> Are you gonna have enough paint to complete the project? Yeah. By the looks of this sheet, this is the only thing I'm painting green. Well, actually, wait, they probably want me to mix green to make the cabinet. Wait, no, there's already cabinet pieces. I don't know. If this is the only green I need, then I've got tons. Once a member, always a member. All right, G, thank you for the nine months. Why can't it come pre-painted? Yeah, because some pieces are, like, look at these. Why couldn't you give me that? <laughs> See, I think this is the cabinet, maybe. Plus some other pieces. I just want to live. Live without paint spilling everywhere, that is.
Hey Teresa, I'm good. The kit is from Friends. I got it for me a while back. It was a gift. A gift, a curse. Some kind of punishment. <laughs> Sims one ass music. Yeah, I think, well, I think the entire front side of this gets covered, so I probably only have to paint one side, but if your pieces aren't perfectly overlaid, you might see a little bit, like at least the edges of the back should probably be painted. Okay. Are any of these dry yet? Enough for coat number two. This is what I painted first. I'm gonna get another like, wait, wait. There's this piece of cardboard that came in the box. I'm gonna use this to set other pieces on. Like you. <laughs> get out of my way. The kits are usually good at supplying exactly what you need for the project with very little or no extra. Plus you don't have to stick with their items. You can change things, but a first build tends to be good to follow instructions. Drawing kitty cats. Next, Bailey will design and build her own miniature, a cute cottage with bun buns. <laughs> That'd be so much work. See, there's cute little designs in the wood. Like with one coat, I can still see them. With two coats, I'm scared it's gonna cover it all up. The little detail work. I'm doing laundry and this is helping me stay focused. Wish I had space for all the miniatures I want to have. I bet you take, it takes you two years to finish the miniature kit. What do you do if you run out of paint? Where would I be able to get paint? Where would I, an artist, What would I, an artist with tons of art supplies, do if I ran out of paint for my miniature kits? <laughs> Too bad I don't have any paint in this house.
But also, I think there's tons in there. According to this sheet, there's not really much to paint. Well, what's also confusing, some of the stuff shown on here is not actually stuff I have to paint. It's already painted. piece is so annoying to paint. <laughs> Have you watched the channel, The Square to Spare? I'm in love with her miniature making. No, I don't watch any miniature stuff. Can't tell if I'm getting good coverage on the edges by doing it like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired of painting. I want to assemble something. <laughs> you would use oil paint. So it takes even longer to finish now. <laughs> I'm not that sadistic. <laughs> Drop it face down. That's too damn bad, you keep painting. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. I mean, I don't actually mind the painting. It's more like content-wise. I'm like, okay, people are here to see me build stuff. See how much better they look with the second coat? <laughs> yeah, I can't see any highlighted Twitch messages. Well, I mean, I could see the message, but it won't be highlighted. Because I'm not looking at Twitch chat, I'm looking at a combined YouTube and Twitch chat. 
It's okay, we won't leave no matter how boring it is. Rolex is, is a good brand for miniatures. If everyone wants, if anyone wants their own, it's easy to find. Google Tower Miniature Coffee Shop. Yeah, this one's called um, Magical Cafe. Row Life Mysterious World Magical Cafe. Holy transparent display, 360 degree stereoscopic scene, dreamy world, DIY, LED, ages 14 and up. Oh, yeah, I have to paint this little piece. Oh. <laughs> Now's when I need that washi strat. These can be my paint soaked tweezers. And then I have like a whole bunch of other tweezers I can use if I want to have a non paint covered pair for just assembling little bits and pieces. Would never have the patience. Were you given this or did you seek it? I was gifted it from friends. <laughs> little flakes of wood from when it popped out of its wood sheet. I gotta move it afterwards so that the paint doesn't just pool at the edges onto the paper. This area is pretty detailed like on the paper. So I'm like, okay, don't mess it up by adding too much paint. This one, also don't know if it needs both sides painted. It says to paint both sides of all of them, but I think that's not necessary, to be honest. Based on the instructions of how it's assembled. Okay, I will want one more coat on that because the first coat I put on was only one side and it was not really dry. Fine, you could stay there. <laughs> when the color allows it, I use Copics to color them instead of the paint, especially the browns work good for that. 
brown would work really well. Okay, so I wanna maybe start cutting out the stickers I need, assuming my fingers are not a little wet paint. Paper cut K14, M2, M13. Or N19, sorry. Should I be using like, I might go get our, some of our little uh, tiny scissors. Like would little embroidery scissors work better for this stuff? Or not really? I think maybe, at least for like getting corners and stuff. I'm gonna go grab a pair. Okay. <laughs> I had to root around in there because we have a whole bunch of different scissors. Some of them have curved blades and others don't. So I'm trying to find a straight blade pair, but also some of them have really huge holes for your fingers. They're like impossibly large. So like when you go to pull apart, your fingers are like loose in the scissors but I found one that has smaller finger holes. <laughs> I joined this, she walked out of frame into chaos. <laughs> okay, so we'll see if I like how this feels to cut paper. Okay, first let's cut out like the general shape. I don't know if I like how this pair specifically is cutting. The blades are like really rubbing against each other. <laughs> it's almost like these are not meant for paper. And I'm not, oh my God, I cut way off. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna put my elbow in the paint. The text on this looks more brown than red compared to the samples. Oh God. I don't think this is really doing any better than big scissors would. Oh, 
Although that was really easy to just get in and cut an extra little sliver off. Okay, <laughs> there's that piece. We also need these little vertical strips. And where's the stone one? If I'm lucky, Mr. Talent will rub his tentacles on my art. Piece K14. Maybe there's another sheet. These are all M's. Aha! This one. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly try hitting up this guy again. So I can close the paint. <laughs> yeah, the other backside looks good. Okay. But I'm also gonna go wash the paintbrush. I mean, I feel like this needs a little more though. I don't know how much of the back side of this we're going to see, but like, I mean, this is the back side, but I mean, I might give it one more coat because the other ones look a little more solid than this, but this is still just a little wet. So I'll hold off on cleaning the brush. I can hear my own fart quaking. Why didn't you just use a craft knife? For all those curves? Are you crazy? Set that aside. Oh yeah, and then our little vertical pieces. This, I could probably just use these scissors for, let's see. Yeah, something about those embroidery scissors is kind of crumpling the paper as it cuts, like kind of bending it. At least that particular pair is doing that. Okay. <laughs> Most of that just fell right onto the ground. Hey, what's this little metal piece? Oh, that's from the camera mount thing. Okay. Once a member, always a member. <sighs> Pieces are cut, but I think this needs one more coat. And we're gonna have to move on to something else in the meantime because I'm gonna need that to dry before I can assemble this stuff. Oh God. Why did I close that? Oh, I was pulling up both tabs instead of one tab. <laughs> Flory, thank you for the eight months. Have the kitties shown interest in this? Minna came and, came and gave it a quick sniff.
just realized I was doing that on all that detailed brown stuff. Okay, I probably don't need to paint the side edges again, but I kind of at least want to swipe along them to get extra goop off. Because when I paint like this, the paint kind of hooks the edge and makes a blob. Once a member, I suspect a member. the brick sticker goes on the back or on the front. Now the back side. So. Wait a minute. These pieces aren't to glue on the front because that is the front piece. I do need to paint the back side of those other ones. I can't see where it is in the finished project, but you sure these... about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Cuz I keep confusing these pieces with like this piece cuz these don't go together on top of each other but these two little ones get glued together at a right angle. So I think I do need to paint the backs of them. You almost need like a painting day to paint all the pieces and then Assemb start assembling another day. Because <laughs> now that needs a second coat too. Okay, also, it's saying, like, these little window pieces I cut, right here, it's saying to glue them onto the back of this, but wouldn't you just glue it onto, like, the front of that? Or is that a completely separate piece for elsewhere? I don't think so. Wait, so cut off part A, glue M19 on the back. And you stick that on there, that on there. Oh no, and then you combine them? Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess it's probably just for alignment. You would have to glue it to the window so it's properly aligned. Because if you just glued it to the back piece and then put the window on, it might not line up. Okay. So, I mean, technically this piece is dry. I could do that. Okay. Is this the glue? It's unlabeled. But there's also this. <laughs> oh, that's pigment. Oh, that's white paint. Liquid glue, okay. Do not use too much glue in case of longer time to dry. It may also affect the appearance of completed products. Okay. The teacher wants me to use Posca pens on sketch paper and it's making my artist heart crumble. <laughs> So 
so <laughs> god how am i supposed to get just like a respectable amount of glue on here i mean what if i just put the glue on the wood and then but also you gotta be able to line it this way to make sure it's lined up they have dotted lines there which is kind of annoying because then it has to be perfect otherwise you see the dotted lines Uh, like, should I use a toothpick or something to apply this? Probably. I dispense the glue onto a plate and apply it with a toothpick. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'll go grab a toothpick. Okay, glue still liquid. <laughs> yeah, that's still a bit wet. Okay, toothpick time. Uneducated. So yesterday I may have worked on a second gallery wall in the art room. I may have. It's pretty much done, but I'm painting some frames currently. And they have two coats of paint, but I'm gonna need a third because I was painting plastic frames. And they just don't take paint. Well, why am I in the fridge? Right, we're looking for toothpick. Okay. <laughs> Grab a couple in case they get gooped. Okay, wait, wait. Those toothpicks have a flat end. Let me grab one that's pointy on both ends. You know what, let's just grab this whole little thing. We have like four containers of toothpicks. <laughs> She's on the bottom step leading upstairs. Hello. Ooh, you me. She's like, <laughs> you little cutie. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you may have seen the beginnings of the wall. I don't even know if you can call it a gallery wall. It kind of is. It looks so good, though. <laughs> but yeah, I just got to get these friggin' frames painted. I just did a coat before the stream started. There are like a couple small gold frames. Still slightly tacky. There's a lot of detail in the frame, so I had to really glob the paint in there. So I probably won't paint the next coat till after the live stream. I'm dressed like candy corn. <laughs> By the way, game stream this Saturday. I kind of want to start with something non-fall guys. So we'll see what I end up doing. <laughs> Cause I technically have more Tears of the Kingdom, Elden Ring, Pokemon. There are options. Or maybe I will just want to do fall guys <laughs> the whole day. I saw the new pink arch on a short or Instagram. Yeah, that would have been, I posted it to Instagram and TikTok, but that was before I did anything with the arch. Cause my whole like putting up the garland project also became a decorating the wall project. Cause pulling the desk away from the wall is such a huge affair and I have to unplug so much stuff and move so much stuff. It's like, to move the desk, I gotta move the Ikea shelves. To move the Ikea shelves, I gotta move this table, and then I gotta move this and this. And... 
move the table. I gotta move my painting cart. And then trying to get in and out of the area is such a pain. <laughs> it was so squishy. But the garland's up along with the lights. It looks so freaking good. <sighs> I truly outdid myself. So sad. Oh God, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I could play that. I haven't touched that in so long. Last update launched today. I haven't played any of the updates. Oh, latest. I think I said last. Latest update. <laughs> For a second, I was like, wait, last update. That was you reading it wrong, Bailing. Okay. <laughs> Toothpick acquired. Let's put a bit of glue on this thing. God. Oh, God. Do we want a side view? I don't know. I eat candy corn, but do not want to eat Bailey. <laughs> hey, Rio. It's working its way down. I think. Wait, maybe there's a seal underneath. Yeah. That's really stuck on there. Oh god, these are plastic tweezers. They're just bending. Mm. I did bring out my stash of tweezers from the embroidery room, but I don't know if I want to get glue on them. Look at all these! Oh my god. Now for real this time. <laughs> There's a second seal. I just committed myself to for drawing. I always go on and off now from a few months to a few years and now can't stop drawing every night. Dang. Wait, there's something in the lid. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Why is this toothpick deformed? Also, it's too big. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. 
Now, this time it better work! Success! We got glue! Here, wait, are these both facing different directions? Yes. And the big one should face inward. So this is this one, this is this one. I'm gonna start with this one because this is the easier piece to hold. <laughs> oh God, it's so stringy. I wonder if it's because the glue's old. I'm basically just gluing this paper down onto the paper below it. They've got dotted lines for placement, but it's like impossible to get this perfect so you don't see those dotted lines. Oh my god. We have a thing. We have a thing. We've assembled our first thing. Hello? Hello, somebody? Anybody? There we go. Love the ring. Thanks. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God. It's so goopy. Let's try to get a fresh blob of glue. <laughs> Why is it so stringy? Mozzarella. I'm not even convinced I'm getting the skinny edge very well, but as long as some areas along the side have glue, it should hold. Because, like, it gets stuck down to the back piece after anyway. Honestly, probably could get away with only gluing the top and bottom edges. Ah!
wow, wow. Now imagine this is all one piece. Oh yeah, there was like a little chunk that broke off of this. So I don't know how well this is actually gonna look once I, how good it's gonna look when I stick it back together. Uh, anyway. There's that. Next. Glue M19 onto the back and then glue M2 and K14. <gasps> Wait, maybe we do need to paint some of the other side of this. Now that I'm really looking at it, I thought that was piece A, but A is in front. So we actually do see some of the back side of this, like What's right the underneath the here, I think. But that should be the only visible spot. I thought that was piece A this whole time. But piece A gets turned sideways and forward. So, that's what I get for not painting all sides like it says to. Gilly, thank you for the nine months. And Lex, thank you for the nine months. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> no one will notice. I'm just kind of at least like roughly getting the edges in case stuff's not glued on perfectly aligned. It's like we might as well get a rough coat back here while we're here. Just takes so long to do two coats on both sides. Like, dude. Ain't nobody got time for that. See, I'm trying to get the paint on a little thicker here. I could just let it dry, do a second coat there. But okay. So we can't glue on those next pieces, although we can paint these brown. That was kind of part of the deal and we haven't done that yet. So let me try the, well, I guess I do need to paint both sides though. Eh, I might just let these flop. I was like, I wanna get the washi tape, but. Oh my God. Maui. I'm gonna grab a new brush. I think a lot of my brushes are in the bathroom. I left them there to dry and I just never went back for them. <laughs> okay, so this piece is part A13, color red. Oh, I guess that this probably means red. Just like terracotta red color. Copic dry. I mean, it wouldn't look this bright with Copic. If it was brown, brown, maybe. As long as this doesn't fling onto me and get paint on me. Don't know why I thought it'd be a good idea to wear a pretty much white sweatshirt. It's like off white. Ah! That bounced off my pants, but it did not get any paint on me. Okay. 
Sure got paint on the floor though. Gear. Hi, Edgar. Did the kit come with a brush? Yeah. Came with that blue one. But I have green paint on at the moment and I'm going to need it to be green again right away. So I figured I would grab a different brush for this part. I'm just gonna get a bit more here because the sticker should cover and that should be enough for that oh yeah there's also another step to glue these other pieces together jumping around a bit because it's like if you're waiting for something to dry hey okay. I was painting the other side thank you okay quick brush cleaning Angie, thank you for the membership. Uh, however many months that is now. It won't tell me. Every time I walk out here and see the garland above the curtains, it's so good. God, I hate the water under my ring. It should be eight months, I think. <laughs> What's the clear case made from glass? The... Oh, it's acrylic for the miniature. So, the back side, it's not dry. I feel like I should have like a little work surface that's easier to see what I'm doing on, so give me a sec. Like this. <laughs> I'd lose such a tiny piece so quick. Yeah. What's a member, I a have member. a feeling I'll lose at least one thing throughout this project. So, okay, so that's gonna go right at the top like that. Ms. Misfitting, thank you for the two months. Okay. 
cats will help you lose pieces. Yeah. I gotta keep stuff organized and put away. have to wash this like right away after. <laughs> I just feel like a brush is the way to go for getting a nice thin layer of glue on the back of the paper. Okay. And then this side gets the other piece of paper. Should we play another horror game? <laughs> that could actually be fun. Like the next, like another game from the same publishers is The Quarry. I just wanted a little bit more glue. I grabbed way too much. Dude, at this point I should just use some E6000 because this is too stringy. This says mini coffee. Like, is it supposed to say coffee or cafe? Urgh. Should I go wash this now? I have more gluing to do. That would be nice to use the brush for, but I could probably get away with the toothpick also. I mean, maybe I'll go wash it just in case. I'm scared it's drying, because it kind of is. I mean, this could just be my glue brush, and then I use my own brushes for painting. let this one get ruined. Although I still need it at least somewhat cleaned because I can't just have this massive buildup of glue. I'll be using like a rock hard object. <laughs> oh yeah, there's kind of still some in the tips. So this might be sacrificed to be the glue paintbrush. Okay. So we've done this, <laughs> plus the painting. Now glue this onto the front and glue the A piece on. Okay. So this piece should go down first. See what I mean by like, I didn't really paint the front cause it's gonna covered. I might have to repaint this edge cause where the paper shows on the side, I might want to cover that. Depends how like picky I'm being about how this looks, but I feel like this is one of the big main objects at the front of the cafe, so I want it to look good. It's 
There's gonna be enough glue for the whole project. <laughs> I mean, I've got glues. Have you think to use pav glue? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> you gotta glue this monstrosity. I was gonna play a multiplayer game last night with someone and had a thunderstorm. It was messing up my OBS. Ugh. PVA. What glues are PVA glues? Like, I feel like I've heard the term PVA glue, but I'm like, wait, what is that? I hear people talk about it, but like, what the hell is it? I'm not gonna go out to the store to buy glue I don't have. I've got stuff to use, so I'm just gonna use what I got. No sense in buying something else. Oh, school glue? If it's like a dry clear kind, it would probably work. I think most of it does dry clear. Unless it gets too goopy and then it might look white. <laughs> wedging piece A in there right now while the glue's still wet to <laughs> make sure it fits in there. Good thing I did because I was really tight. So yeah, this is like where I might want to paint because like in the crack I can see the paper. So I might want to paint over that. So this looks like it gets glued right at the seam. Gets flipped sideways. Glued like that, I believe. <laughs> this camera's like not focusing unless I tap the screen, which is kind of weird. So, but yeah, this is not glued yet. I gotta get the glue. See, again, it's not like returning. <laughs> Maybe it's on a weird focus setting compared to this camera. No. Set to the same setting, which is a wide focus area.
Okay, maybe let the glue just kind of set for a little bit before I attempt to paint the edge. And in the meantime, we can glue this. It says green door frame to glue at right angle. Looks like some paper towels stuck on there. I'll, re I'll fix that after I glue it. I can just paint over it. Is this a Timu kit? <laughs> no. These edges are not quite flat. They might have warped a bit from the paint. I'm also getting like a little blob of glue where they're joining. It dries so fast, like I go to wipe it off and it's just kind of like smudging glue blobs. Okay. I'm gonna try a little more paint. I'm gonna break a nail. Is that glue or snot? <laughs> Trying to not get paint on the paper. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I'm going to be pulling this close to my face and you're not really... If I go like this, <laughs> you're not going to see anything. Hate those glue globs, like where it's got all stringy. Because even if I try to be careful and not put on too much, it just creates long strings. So, okay, let's bring this back. I do want to just darken this a little bit. kind of globbed up here. Smooth it down. I 
and maybe kind of fill in this crack where the two broken pieces meet. Because there's a little sliver of wood missing from there. Okay, I'm being like way too perfectionist. Okay. I'm like, I want to set it somewhere visible. But... Now this I'm going to give a coat because the glue got kind of icky. And I think that's a piece of paper towel there that got stuck in the paint. Plus we can fill this crack a little bit. Yeah, the top is kind of split apart the wood because it was a little bit bowed. Cute. Okay. Gonna clean the paintbrush again. The joys of acrylic paint or like any water-based paint. These pants don't know how to stay up. And Bailey literally making his watch paint dry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, I literally just saw that other piece. Where did it go? So it doesn't tell us to actually use that piece yet. So I might want to start organizing this somehow like in little boxes or something. <laughs> My coffee. But yay, we made our first thing. It feels so cute. Okay. I know that I messed up by breaking the door. Ooh, what kind of little containers do I have? I think I threw some out because I was like, I kept uh, hoarding all these little boxes. Because anytime there's a teeny box, I'm like, this could be a drawer organizer or just something. Cause I had a whole bunch of little business card boxes, but you know what? I do have a bunch of new business card boxes because so I'm just double checking the old ones are in fact gone. Yeah, I think so. But I have new ones. I just gotta take the business cards out of it. My business cards, I mean pin backings. But I don't think the door is gonna fit in here though. It could stand up in here. These are probably a bit deep, but it, I mean, not too deep for the door to stand up. So yeah, I have these, which feel huge right now, but. Eh? Eh? Okay, there's, there's the door stuff. A magical cafe, so cute, looks like a decent size too. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like a foot tall. Uh, 275 millimeters. So yeah, almost a foot tall. I don't know if that's including this part probably oh yeah because the doors here so the main thing is probably twice the height 
of the door, which is not that high, but there's also the base. Oh my God, they're gonna make me paint the base because the base is brown. <laughs> this is the base piece. It feels kind of fancy. Oh, actually it's kind of grimy. But this feels ceramic or something adjacent to that. Stone like, like probably from a mold, but like, it's hefty, it's weighted. Next up is the cabinet, which I don't think we have to paint if these are all the cabinet pieces, but this can't be, these are so small. Well, no, if that's the size of the door. Okay, I might move the painting paper out of the way because just visually it's a lot. See, why couldn't all the pieces come pre-painted like this? Hmm, mini miniature Ikea. Save me, they left me alone and there's a bunch of customers coming. I'm going to die, oh no. Actually, I might need, I was gonna put this away and then I was like, wait, I like it being my little glue holder. So here's what we're dealing with. Have you done any miniature kits before? No. Nothing big like this anyway. I don't think I've done anything. So we have a one, two, a twos. These are a fives. Here's a four. And then, wait, it says there's two a threes. Oh, no, no, no. This is just, I don't know why there's a number two next to it. They all have a two. Wood pieces, champagne metal wire, bag number four. That's bag three. Bag four. It's the champagne metal wire. I think so, okay. You need to cut the wire, clamp it flat, and then bend it into handles. Are you fucking kidding? I guess we don't have to actually do that part yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bust out the pliers. You got this, Edgar, just squeeze into the broiler. <laughs> I did a tiny, tiny one in a tin can. It took me 12 hours straight, oh God. I'm going to bed, but I got a banging headache and did not sleep 
All good last night. Oh my God, that sucks. I hope you're able to sleep well tonight. Good night, Claire. <laughs> Breathe, Edgar. Your job is what makes you able to buy Bailey's stuff. <laughs> Okay, so for the assembly, glue along the reference line, glue as shown, glue as shown. Okay, so I don't need to pop these all out, thank God. They just stay as is, to look like a drawer, but it's really not. Oof, we don't have to glue actual drawers. So, Oh my God, is stuff gonna go on these shelves? Cause there's little slits in there. So I wonder if there's like a paper item that kind of slides in. <laughs> and there's little guides here for where to glue them. Okay. I'm like, what if I can just glue directly for these? If I'm gentle with how much glue. Just get it to the tip. God, it takes so much force. I'm going to full Quasimodo. I shouldn't have tilted that back upright. <laughs> I should at least lay it on its side or something. Shit, that's a lot of glue. Let's scrape some up. These shelves are straight, but close enough. They're whimsically off kilter. There's a cooldown on Gamble, but it's also shared between both Twitch and YouTube. Which is kind of annoying, but the way it is so if someone just used it on one platform you can't use it on the other platform till the cooldown is over God. gorsh and this is the big stuff okay we're not we haven't even started the small stuff yet Call those shelves straight enough. Then there's the side pieces, which I should wait for this to dry a little bit more because I'm probably going to glue along this edge and then stick the sideboard on. Have you ever crocheted or ever wanted to learn crochet? I have not, and I don't really have the urge. I did one time try to teach myself knitting, which was totally wrong, but I did end up with a scarf at the end of it. It kind of looked like shit. <laughs> it was like a pink and green, it's like pink and green squares. 
This isn't the small stuff. No, this is like the big furniture. This is not even like the little props. <laughs> it gets so scary as you go on. Well, there's more furniture stuff like chairs, tables. You get like oil lamp, coffee pot, silver kettle, where you're bending little tiny metal pieces and gluing beads onto things. You've got like your coffee mugs, teacup, coffee storage jar, storage container, wind chime, paper bags, <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, 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 the tree, fuck. I'm gonna cry doing the tree. Oh God, it keeps going. But the tree, you just start with a wire and it, like you have to try to bend it as shown. Twine as shown. <laughs> you have to make, you need to bend the wire from scratch and then like cover it with the brown tissue and then glue on pink and white flowers. Cut flowers out of the paper? Oh, wait, 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 oh, never mind. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I could see from here, they're like partially cut. Like you just gotta pop them out, but still. This is why I crafted Barbie scale. <laughs> This is mini mini. If I get addicted to all those kits, I'd need a whole other craft room. <laughs> all the plants look like they're gonna be a struggle. Like all the little bits of paper. I guess this is like a roll and you kind of wind it. There are nine plants. So we're still on page one for reference. <laughs> well, it says page two, but page one is like instructions, brief introduction. So we are technically here. <laughs> if I told you I got this set as a Christmas gift, still sitting in progress. <laughs> It's okay, I've had mine for like over two years. I haven't even opened it till now. It'll be so cute to see in your art room. Yeah, I wonder where I'm gonna put it. Hi McKenna. Cause the space on top of my two glass towers here is empty, but I kind of want to put plants there. But I could probably, I can almost fit a plant in this thing. This could also go on a wall, although I guess I'm running out of wall space, but if you put like a little floating shelf, it could sit on it. It could be cute, like my stream background is kind of missing a corner element, a tall corner element, which you would only see if I'm full screen face cam, but, and only during my once a month game streams. <laughs> I'm gonna be cross-eyed, yeah. At least looking up at chat is helping my eyes readjust a little bit. <laughs> Instead of staring down the whole time, I'm getting a little bit of distance. Okay, this is probably dry enough. Should I just rip this off? I'm scared I'm gonna lose the cap, but it's kind of annoying. We got cobwebs. <laughs> I 
me and my chemistry labs. You are the solution. Ah, I keep setting this up right. Too much glue on this side. Just wiping away the excess. Okay. Okay, I guess this would be the top piece and there just is no bottom piece. It kind of just stays hollow at the bottom, I guess. Is that gonna fit? Oh yeah, because it nests into the inside. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna smudge glue everywhere doing that part, but that's okay. <laughs> I feel like the glue would drive me nuts on my fingies like that. It's just like, why does it have to be a stringy variety of glue? Got most of that glue on the back side. <laughs> oh, this one side. Oh, I guess never mind. I was gonna say this piece is a little low, but it lines up on the bottom, so. It's more whimsical if it's imperfect. So, okay, <laughs> I'm just like, should I pre-glue this piece? This feels warped, by the way. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> should I glue the shelf or glue the piece I'm adding to the shelf? Now this is coming together a lot faster than that other thing. Although I guess there was, the painting was the bulk of the work. <laughs> oh, squeezed a bit hard there. See, all the glue is just getting shaved off the side, which was my fear. Ah. This corner is kind of in too far, but it's warped. It might just have to look like that. Like this is a cabinet. That's how small this, the scale of this stuff is. How am I supposed to make the freaking handles? They could have just supplied me with little metal things. Like there are little metal things in this baggie. You know, I bet you I could just use gold beads and have knobs instead of handles. That's so cute though. Oh my God. Okay. Glue's giving flashbacks to school. Okay, I guess I could put the cap on for a minute. I'm gonna need to get my wire cutting stuff. It actually doesn't come with 
pliers or wire cutters. So that's something you need if you're gonna make these kits. Now my little needle nose pliers that are like flat ended ones, they disappeared. So I have curly ended ones but like the, I'm so mad my little craft ones are missing. They've been missing for like at least a couple years. And so I do have a different set of needle nose, but they're bigger. They're like a regular toolkit needle nose, they're not craft ones. So I probably should buy replacement ones. I just never think about it when I'm at the craft store. I sit around and cook some soups and oh yeah, these are big. bread and dessert. Then just get all fat and but I'm gonna need these big ones for flattening the, the wire. Cause it wants you to bend the wire and like flatten it so it's like a flat handle. <laughs> okay. I just want like a little showcase of what we've done but there's not a whole lot of room. So, Cause I'm trying to stay zoomed in. Avara, thank you for the four, four months. Okay, this might need to go on my middle finger. This ring's kind of my egg. It's flopping everywhere. Actually, wait, I think I usually do wear it on the middle. Tommy, Tommy. This corner was sinking back in, but I think it's drying. Next, okay, no, the champagne wire. I'm about to have champagne problems. So, is this supposed to be an exact measurement? That would be too big. Would it not? It says 11, does that mean 11 millimeters? Cause that's more than 11 millimeters. Is this enough wire for the full project? Doesn't really seem like it. Cause some other stuff uses wire I saw like this. It says there's a brown metal wire. Is that brown? No, that's wiring. Oh, this is brown metal wire, okay. The kits are in millimeters. See, it'd be handy if this was actually printed at 11 millimeters because then I could follow that as a guide. But now how do I like, look at my rusty ass cutters. I guess I could use like a marker to make a mark on the wire. That might be the easiest way. A uh, fine tipped Sharpie, please. Where are all my fine tipped Sharpies? Here's one. Where are you gonna put the miniature cafe? I don't know. We'll see. Uh... 
<laughs> Shouldn't color on that cardboard. That's my background cardboard. Oh, that one decides to write. This <laughs> flipped around. Bye. Okay. Now, hopefully, that works out because, like, when I cut it, it might destroy some length where it pinches. <laughs> I know this is a miniature kit, but it's so tiny I couldn't get anywhere with it. Yeah. Oh wait, I should cut this like into something. Please don't go flying across the room. Okay, let's put the champire, champire, champagne wire away before I lose it. <laughs> Maybe bend one before cutting all the wire. Oh. That might have been easier. <laughs> Although it'd be harder to know if I've got one centimeter. Okay, now I have to flatten it. <laughs> Here was nothing yet. This is getting the texture of the pliers on it. Hi, Kelly. I mean, it looks textured in the photo, too. Well, it's kind of flattened. Wait, this back part of the pliers is less textured. That's probably where I should be clamping it. Okay, let's try one in its entirety before we do the rest. So. <laughs> I gotta bend it like this. So like kind of into a staple and then bend the edges out. Let's not and say we did. Let's just glue circular golden. I'm sure I have golden beads somewhere. Let's just glue golden beads. <laughs> like it's not gonna have sharp angles. Okay, it's gonna be kind of rounded. Plus like, I don't know where my other pliers are other than these round ones. Okay, 
so I lost like the bend of the handle. Okay, this is not too bad, but it's like off center. <laughs> it's definitely rounded and not what they want. Oh. These don't even touch tips when they're clamped in all the way and they're like sideways. The pink pair is a bit meshed up. This pair works. And here's where I lose my sanity. Also, all the like champagne colors are getting scraped off. Okay, it doesn't help that this <laughs> the pink ones can't really grip it. Ah! Gold worm handle. Okay, this is honestly not that bad. <laughs> it's not symmetrical, but. I want you at least like the handle part to be flat enough to glue. There's one. <laughs> I present to you a gift. <laughs> These are gonna look so bad. I was working with nuclear energy today, you know, typical Tommy Bora stuff. <laughs> Lily, thank you for the five months, or how many months was that? It went away because of the gifts, but also thank you for the gifted. <laughs> Gifting five memberships, thank you. Is there some object you can use to get the shape? Like put it on, mm, like something small and square. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> or if I just like clamp it at the right part in the pliers and like pull down with the other pliers. Like, right first, I guess I gotta flatten it. <laughs> Okay, and then move it to like a skinnier part. Make sure it's centered though. And like bend it down. and then bend the tip out. I might not have gone close enough to the tip of my pliers because I don't really have a whole lot of tip to bend out while maintaining the downward part. Oh, that kind of worked though. Just move over this way a bit. Oh my God. 
Now the bottom parts are not flat enough, but. <laughs> okay, it's not, I got like a really sharp angle on one side and then not really on the other side. But. Can you see that? <laughs> it really looks nothing like the other one. But kind of better. Let's maybe try to reshape the first one. God. This first one's just shredded. <laughs> Destroyed. Yeah, bend the ends down along the pliers and then bend the tips back up. Okay. Okay. I might not even bother with like the flattening stage, like just go at it, just bend them. This is so fucking cruel to make me do these handles. Could have died. <sighs> oh, you're wanting to getting to miniature kits? You sure about that? You sure about that? Okay, this method's working quite well. <laughs> Look how quickly I made that one handle. This metal piece looks shorter. Might be my imagination. <laughs> See, I bend it against the table. Side. I think this piece is slightly shorter than the others. I'm gonna rebend it, but closer to the tip of the pliers. The only thing is, this is kind of bending backwards. There we go. Okay. We have a method, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this piece is definitely a little shorter. These ones might be as well. <laughs> we have to do it closer to the tip of the pliers. Shoot. 
God, there really is not any excess on this side. Good enough. One more. Technique, technique, technique. Okay. <sighs> you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Ah! My back! My neck, my back, my kiki, and my crack. Now we have to glue these fucking handles on. Help! Help! Somebody help me. I was making handles for this fucking cabinet. I think you had the right idea just gluing some beads on it. Yeah, that's way easier than sculpting fucking handles. I don't know if that's enough glue. I feel like I need like a little blob on each end. It won't stop coming out. <laughs> like a big glob joining the two ends. I don't fucking care. Is there going to be a second stream for this <laughs> if I don't throw it in the trash? No, there will be a, there's, we're still on page one of like 500 <laughs> for tasks. This is kind of big. I feel like the big one should go on the bottom.
This is the scratched up one from the first attempt. Sticking to the glue strings, help! <laughs> Fucking metal marionette. I think this is many streams to come, yeah. They'll be spaced out. They won't all be like consecutive streams. I'll stream other stuff, but I mean, I knew going into this, this would take me multiple streams. I need a bigger glob on the one side. It does look pretty good, I gotta say. Like, the handles are all different. They're all unique. There's kind of glue strings everywhere too, but... It, uh... Looks good. It's cute. The glue strings just add a cobweb-like effect. Is it miniature supposed to be relaxing? This is giving anxiety stress vibes. <laughs> now just wait till we make the props that go on the shelves. I'm assuming stuff would go on the shelves. There's also little slits in the shelf, like a little piece of paper slides in. Oh, <gasps> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. First of all, their handles are way shorter than mine. 11 millimeters, my ass. But look at this, look how much stuff. How small are those coffee cups? How small are those coffee cups to fit in here? Like this is larger than scale. This is larger than scale and look how big it is compared to my fingernail. Larger. It's going to be even smaller than that. <laughs> Sorry, Kiki. This scared her. <laughs> hey, Isa. <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> Look at all that stuff that's got to go in there. And that is bigger than it actually will be. Itty bitty. The struggle is real, people. <laughs> yeah. The sad part is, like, looking at this, I don't even know where that cabinet is. It better be somewhere highly visible in the end. Okay, well, it looks like it's behind this. Okay. Okay. See, that's the thing about this is it's like a 360, so I kind of want it displayed somewhere where I would see it from every angle. <laughs> because if I spend like 
50 hours on the backside and I never see it. I need it sitting on like a little rotating thing that just spins all day. That would actually be very cute. Like a little electronic Lazy Susan. What I miss? Well, you miss me bending all these metal wires. <laughs> Make this. And we made the doorway. So, you know, we'll be finished in about 50 years. There's also some pieces in here that are kind of, they kind of go with the doorway. We had to paint these ones, which is why it took so long. All the stuff in here had to be painted. Thank God they didn't make me paint this one. But I was just showing everybody how, because I was like, there must be props that go on here. I didn't realize how many and how tiny, because like, this is that shelf and there's a bunch of like little coffee cups and stuff, but it's printed larger than scale. So like, uh huh, uh, excuse me? Is this miniature stuff from Michaels? Uh, this brand is probably in a lot of places. It's Row Life. Row Life? Yeah, I was like, or is it Rolf? Rolf, <laughs> Rolf Life. I got it as a gift from friends, but it's around. Like I saw a bunch of stuff like this in just a random store at the mall. Store that had like, kind of like some kawaii anime stuff like Hello Kitty and Pokemon and just like cutesy things. They had a bunch of these kits. Okay, next. So is this gonna get its own box? Maybe. These boxes are so deep. Okay, let's see what the book says is next. So we did the cabinet. We completed a full page. Amazon has them. So yeah, out of <laughs> all of this, we've done one page. <laughs> there are, okay, page 25 is the last instructional page. That basically says turn the lights on. So 24 is probably the last assembly page. And page two is the first. Like we just did page two. I wonder if this is telling you to like paint everything. Ahead of time. Maybe. So, every little thing, every little thing, this song. Yeah, the glue came with the kit. So, okay, front counter, we're building a countertop. So, grab the pieces, glue as shown, glue as shown, glue A7 onto A6 centrally, glue as shown. Completed. There's one that sits in an old school TV set. You're making great progress considering everything's so damn tiny. Oh, these next ones might be pieces to paint. Maybe I should paint them. Well, no, because I think if I paint them before popping them out, they're going to be really hard to pop out. Because I'd have to repaint the sides after anyway. But I was thinking, like, at least initially paint them flat. But I think that's going to be a disaster. Oh, God, this one's thick. Thick brick. Mm, 
Maybe, oh, I think this is the cabinet in here. It's pre-painted, thank God. Ooh. Like they painted all these, why couldn't they just paint everything? Paint every little thing, every little thing. Nook sets look adorable. Are they difficult to pop out? Not particularly. Some of the stuff was very fragile, like this thing was difficult. I did end up breaking it. But luckily it got glued onto a backing piece and so didn't really matter. But you can see a crack there. That's about the only evidence that it was broken. Okay. I like, I like the sound of all these pieces. So, there's A, A6. Wait, that's A7, sorry. A7, A6, A10, A8, and A9. I wonder, cause like now that I looked at what goes on these shelves, I don't think the slits actually really mean anything other than it helps you differentiate between the pieces. Cause otherwise these would look the same, even though they're slightly different size or yeah, yeah they're very slightly different. So maybe that's why they add the little slit. So we want to glue onto a nine, which is the slitted one. And yeah, times two. So we're gonna do both of them. Oops. This and this. Have you been watching the Risa Teresa TikToks? All 52 parts. Oh wait, is that the Who the Fuck is My Husband? Who the Fuck Did I Marry series? I didn't watch it, but I watched a summary. <laughs> I'd be scared to I'd lose some parts if I painted after I popped them out. Yeah, and those like little teeny brown ones that are in here that I was painting, they were flying all over the room. <laughs> Uh. Come here. Come here. Actually, I yeah, might tweezer it is. Glue was a bit globby. Let's see if there's like a prettier side. Not really. Could do with a thinner nozzle, yeah. I mean, I probably could have tried to cut it smaller, but like that's just the size of the tip, but maybe I could have tried to cut like half the tip off or something.
Kind of squeeze like a little bit and then drag it across, but it's hard to maintain the pressure. Okay, there's that. Okay, the next step involves... Wait, is this just gonna be open-ended on one side? Because it says to glue on the side piece, but there's only one side piece. Yeah, seven pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we're gonna glue one end cap and the other stays open. Maybe it gets glued against something, maybe that's why. I'm gonna skip that because this is drying. I'm gonna move ahead to this, which is doing the top piece. The piece with the hole gets glued to the middle of this piece. And again, they're kind of bowed. They're warped. So this might not be perfect. Cutting tips, eek. <laughs> Should have waited till the glue was older and it could have made its own decision. We gotta do a chair next. <laughs> the chair is something you have to paint. Oh God, these are the chair legs. Chair backing, chair seat. Although there is like a really cute sticker that goes on it. It feels very antique. I like it. And I think there's two chairs, eh? Yeah. Y'all. My Twitch name doesn't fit my YouTube name. Is anyone in here human? A human? It's all bot views. Just that's a joke. YouTube and Twitch. Oh god, okay. So fragile. Oh. Should probably paint the table at the same time. Yeah. Oh! No! Ah! Oh, that just broke into multiple pieces. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. oh! These are so skinny, like.
and skinny. <laughs> Too late for that. It doesn't help that this is going in the same direction as the wood grain. I feel like, well, I guess it maybe would have been fragile either way, but. The wood grain's going the same way, so it feels like it wants to just like. <laughs> Meat popsicle. I am human. Beep, beep, boop, bloop. Probably some kind of fungus. All AI. <laughs> Can I get AI to fix this chair for me? I'm trying to figure out which way it goes before I get the glue. Maybe she'll let the first piece dry. Oh, because that overlaps the nub. Nub to nub, dust to dust. That doesn't go this way. People. Yeah, yeah, it goes and this way. He flies, and he helps people. Mm. I can do a rewind on YouTube and it'll be fixed. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Now, I can't just leave this flat on the cardboard because it'll glue itself to the cardboard, but I at least need it initially. Try to nudge it out of place so it's not by all the globs, although this piece came up a bit. I have just one thing to say to you. <laughs> okay. Get off! <laughs> okay. You know what, I'm gonna take a break popping out the chair pieces because I think that was enough of a distraction to let the glue dry here. This whole thing is warped, like, <laughs> you see this? Not just like even this warp, but like this corner sticks out forward. It's warped in every, every which direction. How am I supposed to glue these together? Like for example, this has a bit of a gap on this side because this was warped. Could have maybe tried clamping it, but whatever. 
don't have clamps. So. Okay, these get to the inside of this piece. Why, baby, why? I'd need those magnifying goggles glasses to work on all that. <laughs> and these are still like the big objects. This isn't even the small stuff yet. This is like the furniture, not the props. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. Kimberly, thank you for gifting 20 memberships. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's the second 20 of the day. What the hey? You need my fiance's daddy builds models all the time and won prizes. He'd make this look sick. If I have this all the way over, I can see like a gap, but like if I look down into there, I can kind of see a gap because the counter has a little recessed piece and then the overhanging piece. And so because of the recessed piece, like the recessed piece is shorter than the width of this. So it's just the way it is, I guess. Oh my God. Stop holding it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> sorry, I'm like right into the microphone right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It just has character, okay? It has character. Does the piece of the hole need to be down? Yes. Because the piece of the hole is the, the shorter piece, yet it needs to be on top of these pieces. Like it doesn't nest, the smaller piece underneath with the hole doesn't nest into the countertop. There's like clearly a ledge to the countertop where it's like recessed and then the, the top piece sticks out more because the inner piece is smaller. Keep popping out chair pieces. Without breaking them, preferably. I think we just have the legs. Yeah, and then we'll have to grab the sticker part. 
Maybe I should be using a knife to like cut the pieces out. Where's my knife? Maybe I put it away. Yesterday. Observe. Thank you for the sub. Now observe this. Because there are little spots where the wood is still connected, like tiny little slivers to hold it into this tray. If I preemptively snap those. But yeah, I guess we should, yeah, we should pop out the tables too because it's the same paint color. There are a lot of voices. What's nice about them being brown is the edge of the wood is brown. And so <laughs> if it's not painted well on the edge, you won't really notice. Okay, so then the table. Round piece, two round pieces, in fact. And those curvy, wervy legs. These things, oh God! Okay, we're not gonna need the glue for a bit. Maybe these ones I should paint assembled. Cause like with this one, I couldn't really do that because there's like paper pieces sandwiched between the two wooden pieces. But with the chair and table, I should actually be able to glue them first and then paint. Cause like there's one little piece of paper that gets glued on at the end for both of these. So I think this might be an assembly first kind of thing. Woohoo, you're still working on it, hey Jessica. Can you imagine throwing a tiny chair to get angry, flipping the tiny table? <laughs> they would shatter. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Observe Bailey lose her mind over a mini coffee shop. What kind of wood is this? I don't know. Pine? Maybe? No, I don't really know my woods. Sound is scaring me.
balsa. And there's plenty more where this came from. Oh God, the leaves for the trees. Actually, no, that might be for flowers. Oh, there's tree. Pink ones are trees. It showed that I would have to paint them, but that looks pre-painted. Hmm. So let's just double check that this is all just regular brown. Cause honestly the table looks more reddish. So the table, which is a 17 through whatever color red. Yeah. Okay. And then the chair, which is the a twenties. Oh, color red, brown mixed. Must I? Oh wait. Yeah, yeah, A28, but also A42. Yeah. Red and brown mixed two to one. Let's not and say we did. <laughs> why, why isn't the table and chair the same color? start panicking and crying. <laughs> it's been 84 years. Idealize. Are these lies? Crocheting Eric Cartman from South Park. Nail in the wood and leave an indent. Mm. If I drag it, it's the teeniest of indents, maybe. Okay. So, yeah, let's glue first, then paint. Why did I close this? Let's just do the table first because the pieces are out. Insert vertically in glue. Afraid to gamble anymore? <laughs> Are you losing too much or like it's going too good that the good is going to end? Not convinced that the <laughs> cardboard is flat. Okay. And then the small piece is the underside, basically.
Mm-hmm. What time is it anyway? Oh my God. <laughs> I haven't looked at the clock once. It's 3.15. Okay. Okay, let that dry. So. Oh, these are so usual. Hi, Ariana. Hi, everyone. I'm suffering. <laughs> Same. Happy mail arrived today from my store. Or... Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> Just got one million May bucks. Son of a. The glue strings are killer. All right, let's take bets on whether or not these chairs will stand straight. <laughs> oh no, not this song again. Two sketch pads, bag two washi, love it. Yay, thank you so much for ordering. I'm glad you like it. Do a bet. I would, but my fingers are all nasty. And I don't really wanna go over to the computer. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a ghost. Okay, can we glue this on now? Probably. Oh, nope, it's soft still. <laughs> well, let's do a recap of what we've done, I guess, while we wait for a bit of glue to dry. We've got a little countertop. We have the doorway. And accompanying accessories. <laughs> and then we have the cabinet with all the wire that I had to bend myself. <laughs> Certainly looks hand bent. So there it is. Got my organizational boxes. Mm, cute. Trying to find a way to show it off because of this camera angle, you can see stuff in the back. Cute cabinet, yeah. Ghost table. I thought you deleted that track. I tried, but like I couldn't find it in the list. It's a ghost song. It's not in the playlist, and yet it is. Oh, 
top piece I glued on is not quite flat, but good enough. Considering I broke this into three pieces and it's back into one piece, we'll take it. Oh my God. The tops of these chairs, or I guess this part might touch. Ooh, just barely. It's mostly these outer two notches is how it's gonna connect, but I'm sure I could put some glue in the middle part too. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Oh, I glued this the wrong way. That's the bottom. I mean, it kind of looks better that way, to be honest, but I should follow what they show. Why are these so small? <laughs> Chaos. Your ring's so pretty. Thank you. It's a snow white ring. Focus. Have you seen the strawberry milk box Real Life has? No, I honestly haven't looked at what they even have because I was gifted this. I haven't even been online to see what there all is, but that sounds so cute. No Discord link? Guess not. Not with the new bot anyway. I don't go there anymore. The restricted section. So I wanna see how big this paper is to see if there's room to stick the paper on after I've glued the backing. Ooh. I mean, even if there isn't, I could trim it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 these are shallower. I'll cut them while stuff's drying, I guess. I'm not gonna use a knife for this because it's got the scalloped edge. Like you could, but I'm not gonna. Now the table also has a little paper top piece. Let's find that. Oh, it's over here. 
I don't have to cut it out, it pops out. Okay. So yeah, this can go on after because I'm gonna paint the chairs once they're assembled and then we can stick the seats on. <laughs> this is even way smaller than Calico Critters! This is like Calico Critter play furniture. For their dolls. You can maybe fit the babies on here, but even those would be a bit big for the chairs. Here goes nothing. Because <laughs> it's miniature, that's why it's small. <laughs> but it's smaller than like standard dollhouse miniature. It's ultra miniature. Should this be leaning back slightly? I mean, maybe. <laughs> but for the sake of it staying intact while gluing, it probably should just be straight backed. Shoot, that one corner probably should have been further back. But that's okay. Here for ants. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> the legs kind of look goofy. No, that's how they look in the picture too, okay. Calico Critters the same or at least similar to Sylvanian Family Toys. They're the same. Same company, same everything. They're just called different things in different countries. Probably for trademark reasons? I don't know. Like where I stuck that, I'm trying to push it back a little bit. Okay, now we let those really, really dry because I'm gonna be painting them, so I'm gonna be like manhandling them. So, okay. Oof. <laughs> I'm gonna go get like a Coke Zero or something. I've been drinking more pop lately. <laughs> Mostly because it's like a, like a nice zero calorie snack. I mean, I could get a caloried snack too. Does that glue dry fast? Yeah, it does dry pretty fast. Which is good, because like, otherwise the backs of these would not be standing up right now. <laughs> but it's also tricky, because you gotta work fast. And it's very stringy. 
kind of like hot glue is. I have to try to rip some of those off before I paint it. Love Pepsi Max Cherry. Do you have that in Canada? Uh, probably. I don't really, I don't buy Pepsi, so I don't know what they have. But I know Cherry Coke is kind of hard to come by and you can't get Cherry Vanilla Coke in Canada, but you can get just Cherry Coke, which I saw for like the first time at Walmart last year. I feel like it's not something that's just always available unless you know where to go maybe, but like I went to Walmart for more and there just wasn't any. I'm listening to you while at work and each time I look at the screen, I swear the furniture looks like it gets smaller and smaller. Oh my God. Look how cute. When I buy a full pack of 12, I can drink it within a week. I'm so bad. That's why I don't drink pop that often. So addicted to pop. <laughs> Strawberry Dr. Pepper is so good. Cherry Coke's the best. Cherry Dr. Pepper's nice, but I hardly see it just do not, I repeat, do not get raspberry Pepsi Max. That stuff is rank. That's a good warning because I love raspberry stuff. Although I do currently have my cranberry ginger ale, so I'm set for the flavored stuff for a while. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go grab that pop. Wait, am I done my coffee? No. I love the cabinet so much. Honestly, the handles were worth it. The handles were worth it. No dark soda, please. It's not kind to me. <laughs> I'm the one drinking it, not you. <laughs> oh, help me. Somebody carry me up the stairs. Stiff in the hips. Although it could be worse. Not really painful, just stiff. Okay. <laughs> Wiping my lips on a napkin. I just feel kind of gunky. Okay. My Coke Zero has Santa Claus on it. You know what, I'm gonna grab a meat stick. It's staring at me. Schneider's Pepperettes, beef flavor. Oh, these ones aren't as dry as, we had like two different flavors. The other one was just pepperoni. This one says beef, so whatever. But the other ones are really dry and I like my meat sticks dry. Mm, still delicious. Mango Pepsi. Oil pop, what the hell is that? Praise Santa. 
Oh, we had it for a second. No, it's Keekzilla! No! No, please, spare me. Please! No, Geekzilla, no. Please, spare us. Spare the cafe, they're trying to rebuild. What made you decide to do one of these? I was gifted it a couple years ago and I'm finally just making it. <laughs> okay. Your butt has a little bubble at the top. Like it's sticking out a little bit. Why is the top of your butthole protruding? Why, baby, why? Oh, Ollie Pop. I was trying to figure out what miniature item was in your hand, but realized it was a beef stick. Here you want some? No, she doesn't. <laughs> Bubble butt. She's so baby. She's so baby. <laughs> Not the alien, but. in the hood? She's like, no hood. I went up, but I don't want you wearing the hood. It's to protect my hair so you don't rip it out. There are things in this world that we will never fully Christian understand. Christian Keekzilla's terrorizing my village. We want answers. Look at my little chairs. <laughs> Aren't they so small? Why is there kiki hairs on you? Pencil sharpener? Uh, third drawer in the... Yeah, there's little ones in there. I sometimes put it away in one of these cubes. Love black cats. Are you streaming on Saturday? Yes. Hey boy, what that pee pee do? Maybe we'll do, um, like another one of those story games. My baby, my baby, my baby. you're my baby. 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 Still quite poorly, so I'm gonna go to sleep night, guys. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Good night, Lily. Hope you feel better after your sleep. There is a man behind you, Bailey. Watch out. <laughs> when are we getting sticky notes? Whenever the next shop update is, which keeps getting pushed back because stuff keeps not arriving. <laughs> Does Kiki shed more than Midna? Eh. It's kind of the same. And she just paused my music. She's looking at her daddy. Oh, purring intensifies. Or it could be because she's beside my open ear. 
Testing, testing. Is what? the music too loud? What the fuck? <laughs> the louder part. Testing, testing. Testing. I think there's a mimic mimicking my voice. <laughs> Really from the future, more like from the past. <laughs> Kitty's like, next song, please. <laughs> Kiki Cola. It's a Kika Cola. Are you still experiencing weird ghosty stuff? <laughs> I don't know how recently, like, how recent your knowledge is. Because I feel like everything's kind of been, like, explained. But there was that night I saw, like, a cat in our house. That is still not really explained, other than hallucination. I told that story a few weeks ago, so. Because I was like on the couch reading and I was like, okay, I'm going to bed now. So I got up and I was walking kind of towards the staircase. I had to shut some lights off and stuff, but I was walking towards the stairs going upstairs and I saw a cat going around the corner because there's two landings on the staircase and there's the upper landing. Like I saw one of the cats zoom by and I heard them go, Rrr! you know, they make that little like, Rrr! and like zoom around. And then I was like, oh weird, I thought the cats were on the cat tree. And so I look over to the cat tree and both cats are still on the cat tree. Plus what I saw didn't look quite like Kiki or Midna. It looked like maybe a different color cat, maybe fluffier, but it was so fast that it was like, it could have been anything. It could have been my imagination, <laughs> but I saw it and heard it. That's the weird part. Unless one of the cats happened to go at the same time and it just sounded like it was coming from there. And then like that same night though, it was creepy because like Kiki often lays at the foot of the bed and she'll be kind of like on one of my feet or at least up against it. And then sometimes Minda will come and sleep with us, but usually not. But I like wake up in the middle of the night and I can feel that there's a cat on each foot. And I was just like, fuck, because my feet are like a little spread apart. And I was just like too, I get too hot when they do that. And I don't like my feet being trapped. So I was just like, oh God, I have a cat on each foot. And like, as I was sitting up, to like look at them, I felt the pressure on my one foot just like go away as if the cat got off. But there like just was no cat there. It, there was only Kiki. Sounds like you have a new cat now. <laughs> so it was weird that those both happened the same night. I was like, what the hell? And cause like we suspected we had a ghost cat in the old house. So now I'm like, what the heck? But also I had the doors open that day so part of me was like, did a cat get in? But it was like the doors to the upper deck. So like, how would a cat get up on our upper deck? It's not impossible, but like unlikely. Because if they jumped on our neighbor's shed, they could probably do it. But also Christian used to work with this lady who claimed to be psychic. And she said that like, if you leave a door open, ghosts can just wander into your house. So I was like, what if a little ghost kitty got in that day? I knew it, Bailey's going crazy. I'm senile. What the hell are you <laughs> talking about? I told you to stop with the shrooms. <laughs> oh, look at the tablecloth. It fits perfectly there. There are things in this world that we <laughs> will never fully understand. 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 We want answers. I had a similar thing a few days ago, but it was a different animal. Ooh, what, what animal? Or do you not really know, but you just know it wasn't a cat. Okay, let's get 
get some of these stringies off. Oh, there's a kiki fur in there. She's just squatting there menacingly. She's like kind of half closing her eyes and tilting her head like she wants pets. Listen, I can't, I'm about to paint this. I can't have fur all up in it. Yeah. Oh, but she just wants a pet. Yeah. This is all she knows. She lives her little kitty life. She stays in the house. She eats her snacks, has a nap. Plays with Midna, plays with Mommy and Daddy. Why, baby, why? She just wants some pets sometimes. I'm all she has in this world. Oh, yes. It was some type of creature. Okay, eh, <laughs> like otherworldly. Ghost Kitty could have definitely followed you from your old place, but it sounds like it just wants snuggles. Because see, also, like, when we had the issue of that plastic container falling off the shelf in our closet a couple times. I was like, what if a ghost cat's up there? <laughs> but I think that was just the weight of my organizer weighing down the rack. Cause once I moved the organizer, that stopped happening. <laughs> I don't really get creepy vibes from this house. Oh God. This one's almost like leaning forward. Like if anything, it should be leaning a little bit backwards or just be straight up, but it looks like it's leaning forward. The backrest. <laughs> Eat your food. <laughs> ah. I'm a little ducky swimming in the water. I'm a little ducky. Swimming in the water. I am very tiny. tiny. But from in the distance, distance, I'm a little, little ducky. ducky. Swimming in the water. water. Okay, so table gets red, chair gets a mix of brown and red. Red. It is kind of already a brownish red. You know. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new brush. Cause the brush that came with the kit kind of got glue all over it. So I was like, this will be the glue brush. And then I just never used it again for glue. Maybe I will though. Maybe I will. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of brushes in here that need to be put away. Cause I wash them in the bathroom and then I just lay them on some paper towel on the little shelf in there. And then they stay in there. All of these and this. And these are all the flat brushes. These are all the good ones. Oh yeah. Flat brushes are the best brushes. <laughs> what did Kiki do? When I say Kiki, no. <laughs> what did she do? Bumble. Just bought too many verse to make right now, so this is perfect to watch. Crafty girls unite. <laughs> okay. I think it's gonna be hard for the side camera to focus on my hovering hand. So I might be better off just going top down for this. <laughs> I can tell there's a glue glob on the bottom of the foot. Probably for when I glued the wrong side. It's 
getting the side edges, that's difficult. I thought this would be like brown brown, but it's red, so. I mean, I don't care if some of the brown edge shows through, but I still wanna make an effort to cover it. Get off. Hey, DP addict. <laughs> do you remember me? You said hi to me in your last stream. I do remember. Hi, Lily. <laughs> I'm watching while playing Stardew Valley. Perfect cozy combo. <laughs> New miniature pack idea. Every furniture and wall are leaning. Lol. Expert level having to glue everything at an angle. I did my spirit guide meditation and my spirit guide is a cutie. <laughs> Romance novel idea. Four o'clock, time is running out. Having the top of the table to hang on to while doing these legs just makes it so nice. AMV Canada. My black cat Binks is trying to use my clean food, clean folded laundry as a bed while I try to put it away. Why, baby, why? What are you doing? Hey, oh my God, she's like eating a toothpick. Get, <gasps> no, like actually you will hurt yourself, Kiki. Oh, this is it, oh God. I think it's because there's glue on it. She was like, this is a snack. <sighs> she likes adhesives. She's a glue sniffer. She's pawing at this and sniffing the tip of it. Tell me. Trying to make sure this doesn't just clump up.
So like mixing the red and brown, the reason I'm so like, ugh, about this is because where am I supposed to mix such a small amount of paint? Focus here. <laughs> I hear like a metal clinking noise and I hear, ah, oh, fuck. Are you okay, Chu? Dressed like a candy corn. Hey, <laughs> you're not the first person to say that. Oh no, that means it's extra true. <laughs> Finally, I will have Luna Moth hoodie soon. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you like your mechanical pencil? Yeah, it is a little tricky. Like, it's good for when you want those really light initial lines. But then for any detail work, it's too light and too thick of lead, but... Or like, for example, with the... That Peep Candy artwork, I traced in that light pink to transfer. That was nice. I'm gonna go for coat number one. I mean, the legs kind of got two coats already. There are some places where I'm gonna have to go in again, but. And I'm not gonna bother with the side edge of the table, the side I'm like where I'm holding it until I'm doing the top. It's probably just gonna let it dry top down. And I can get back to it. So, yeah, I mean, I can probably just mix some paint on the paper. <laughs> it was too brown to one red or the opposite? Red and brown, two to one. Two red to one brown, okay. Like, am I really dipping in here with the dirty brush? I am. Now work fast before this dries. Want some cocoa puffs? <laughs> Building a miniature chocolate shop. I like your nail color. What brand, brand of gel polish do you use? Thank you. I use Gelish. And this color is like my go-to that I use quite frequently. It's called Tan My Hide. It's like a super light pink. A little peachy. Focus here, camera. Now stay here.
That ring with the red gem you're wearing is stunning. Thank you. It's a snow white ring from Rock Love Jewelry. Rock, yeah, Rock, I was like Rock of Love. I just think it's Rock Love. God. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to hold this. <laughs> In such a way that I'm not holding paint. I'm gonna have to hold the painted leg. Sorry if my finger's blocking. This is like not a good angle for you guys. This is blurry again. Glue string. Wants to stick to your fingers. That's half of the battle. It's like, release. Okay, I'm gonna try doing this one like this, holding the top of the chair. See what happens. I'm just scared because the top feels so like attached at such a small point that I'm like, please. Color you mix is pretty. Thanks. Been itching to do another miniature kit recently, and this isn't helping. <laughs> Surprise! You're wearing rings while painting. I wondered if I, this was a mistake at one point. I was like, oh, my hands will be up close. Well, this is my usual ring. But then I was like, oh, let's wear another ring too. And then I started painting and I was like, mm, should I be wearing this? The seat looks like toast. It's got the little brown crest. Now it doesn't look like toast. Soiled it.
<laughs> okay, now what? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to grab it by the legs. There's a lot of nooks and crannies to get in the top. Okay, that's coat one. I'm gonna flip the table over and do the top. So let's wipe the excess red, red brown off because we're going pure red now. And I'll start with this side edge. <laughs> Copyright for music just hits different. Cat does the same thing with adhesives. They like glue and tape. All the yummy adhesives. Follow the grain of the wood with the brush strokes. Although there's a big sticker going. <gasps> ah! I started grabbing the mixed color. No, I need that for the chairs. I'm gonna have to mix more. We were saving that. Focus, we don't know her. We're highlighting the background furniture. <laughs> The table legs still need coat number two and then so will the top. Although I kind of don't mind the look of one coat on the stuff that's meant to be like very obviously wood texture, but. Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Want to hear an odd story? Yes. How your day goes and your sweet cat. Good, good. Just paint half and go back, yeah. I did that with the table. But the chairs, I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I stick them to an old pill bottle with temporary glue dots. The bottle acts as a handle. Ooh. My cat can't stop barfing on my dog. Wait, why? 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 It's weird if that happened once, but like repeatedly? Do the new episodes of Love is Blind come out today? Yes. And I'm excited because like last week's episodes were a bit of a letdown because the week prior they teased like, oh, upcoming, and they were teasing a bunch of like the everybody meets everybody scenes. And I was like, this is gonna be so good. But then when I watched the episodes, that was not in it. And now they tease it again for this week. So I'm like, okay, like finally, we're gonna get to see that. He has some garage issues. Okay, speaking of like the pets puking though, that's not dry. I heard, like I was putting up the garland yesterday and I was like up on the ladder and I heard one of the cats puking, but I wasn't sure cause it kind of sounded distant. And I was like, oh, that might've been a cat puking. But then I kind of forgot about it. And then I was walking past the furnace room and the door was open cause I was kind of in and out of there. And I looked in the litter box and there was puke in the litter box. It was like the big clumpy kind where they're like the foods, it's like dry food that's not very digested, you know? So it was like very obviously puke. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know which cat puked, but they puked in the litter box, which is like really nice actually, <laughs> instead of on like the carpet or something.
Does this kit have lights? If so, good luck. It does. They're gonna make me wire shit. Wait, why is there a straw? Well, there's two straws, but one is like a bendy straw. The turtle killer, 3000. Oh, I've got a legal weapon here. Well, that stuff's drying, but so is this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm like, which chair did I paint first? I can't even tell. You're so fucking cute. So fucking cute. I. Well. Let's kind of peek at what's next. Because I think this is more brown painting. Oh, excuse me. The ladder. Oh, so that's not like a really high, high chair. <laughs> it almost looks like a baby high chair or like um, a lifeguard chair. <laughs> it's a ladder. It's just got like a back thing. What would the crank, it's got like a gear and crank on the side. Like what would that do in theory? Change the height of the ladder? They're gonna make us sculpt the handle. Brown metal wire, nine millimeters. You know what? Oh no, no, never mind. That's right. I was gonna say I noticed it showed the full length. So yeah, it wanted 66 millimeters of the champagne wire. So they were each 11 millimeters long. So I did make them 11 millimeters. I just kind of panned because like here, this looks longer than 11 millimeters. It is. I made a line at 11. Whoa. Yet their handles look a lot shorter than mine. Whatever, dude. It was a small enough piece of wire to work with. Um, I guess I could pop out the part. I'm like, can I just paint this even though it's still kind of wet? Yolo. It's mostly wet where it's just like thick goopies. Okay, this, this paint puddle is drying. We don't have a lot of time. Dollar, dollar, I need a dime. My dog has food allergies. When we first adopted her, she would always vomit after she ate. Accidentally trained her to vomit into paper towels or tissues after trying to catch it a few times. <laughs> What are your cat's names again? Kiki, it's a black one, Kiki. And Midna, Mid, uh! 
This is bent. Midna is the torty. The back piece is coming off. It's like kind of hanging in there, but it's bending. It's still attached. It's the danger of painting a fragile thing after gluing it together, but I'm trying to flip over all these pieces, get all the edges. I was like, that's just going to be too much. Tops still need ah! Ah! the tops of the chairs need to be painted still. <laughs> Just knocked them off. But also that one top might need to be re-glued. Okay, let's move back to the table. <laughs> we'll paint the legs. Maybe. The stream sponsored by Kika Cola. Kiki Cola. Abyss loaf. <laughs> Raisins, two hundred and three. Mm. I could go for some raisins. Supper tonight's probably just gonna be like a microwave frozen meal. We got it kind of got off schedule, like cause we swap who makes a meal. And we got kind of off schedule where I, tonight's my night, but I'm live streaming. So. I was like, let's just not do a HelloFresh today. And I'll cook one tomorrow because then we're just back on schedule. So theoretically, that means I can just end the stream whenever I want, but instead of ending for supper, but it's still going to be like around the usual time, possibly a little earlier because we got a lot of shows to watch. Okay. We got Love is Blind. Okay. That's, that's going to be multiple episodes and Survivor season premiere.
want the paint to fill all the, the holes. I'm gonna try to get all the goobly gobbledy goops out of there so that these spirals don't just fill with paint. Where's Midna? I don't know, probably upstairs. Well, yeah, yeah, the last I saw her, she was on like the staircase. Just chilling on the stairs, the carpeted ones that go up to the second floor. jump around so much on these legs that I'm like, where did I leave off? Leave it holes with the toothpick. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did the first coat too. Oh, I just filled one back in. <laughs> I'll have to fix it again. I thought I was in the clear if I wasn't going to be painting the legs anymore, but clearly that was not the case. You go to scrape off a clump and it just leaves a hole in its place. <laughs> you gotta choose clump or hole. Okay. Oh wait, there's a big glob of paint here. Then let's clear the hole with the toothpick. It's like I'm trying to wipe away the excess and then I'm just filling the hole again. Too juicy. Okay. <sighs> the painting is like the worst part. <laughs> I mean, no. yeah, well. I was, gonna, I was thinking of bending those handles, but once I got the hang of it, those were not too bad. How many hours do we think this is gonna take? Prob, I'm thinking like 40 hours, I, mean, I don't know. We are on the second page of instructions only. And 
We'll run page three because page one is nothing. It's just like introduction. So then we did this page and we're on page number two. We did a front counter. We're working on chair and table simultaneously. Then there's the ladder. <laughs> That's probably as far as we're gonna get is two pages out of Some of these are probably sticking together too. They're numbered to like number 24-ish when it ends. So I can just stuff. Took me a couple months to finish my first one. But I mean, like we don't know how many hours a week you were working on it. So that's It'll probably take me at least a couple months because like I work on it for a good chunk of time during these streams, but it's not gonna be every week. But it's possible I work on it sometimes off stream if I really want to. Could be good vlog footage. Like let's say I feel like I don't have enough vlog footage. I'm like, oh, I can make one of the things in a miniature kit. <laughs> make one item. Okay. Did take a huge break from it. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of getting like between the rungs here, but like who cares? And it's kind of just a good shadow color having the brown of the wood, the scorched wood showing. Stop falling over. I'm like, should I just rip off this top piece and re-glue it? It's hanging in there. It's just bending. Especially now that I'm painting this way, because it wants to bend forward. I probably should stick a bit of glue in there. Yeah. Once it dries. So I'm painting the other way and pushing it backwards. It feels fine. <laughs> Add a bit more glue there, maybe when I go to glue on the, the cushion. Okay. <sighs> Tabletop. Oh, I don't know if the legs are dry enough to touch, but they're probably, the bottom's probably dry enough that I can just set the table upright and try to paint at it like this. Yeah, 
I do need to get around the edge where I was holding it before. And then I can start popping out the pieces for the ladder. Trying to make sure I'm not leaving big globs on the side. Good enough. Okay. Ladder. I am gonna go wash this brush. BRB. But you'll still hear me. You know, this is this kit's not so bad. If you just let go of perfectionism, just let it be. Let it be. The usual pant hike. Uh, okay, so let's set aside the paint and the paint paper and let's take a look-see. Dang, the ladder's got a lot of instructions. I gotta make marks for the steps and then attach it those marks. Whoa! Okay. So let's pop out the pieces. Look at these little like gear marks on there. They're tiny. I'm gonna do the same strat with the knife kind of breaking those little slivers that are holding it in. Wait, I need my gal bolt. I love real life, just did a book, book nook and bought another one at Michael's paint before you assemble. That's what I did with the first one and it was awful. It was awful. Cause I had no choice because of the way it assembles. Cause it's like paper pieces layered between the wood pieces. That was way better painting after the fact. My personal belief. Okay, 
and this piece. What is the paper you are painting onto? It's just like a painting guide showing what pieces need to be painted and what colors. Loud snapping noises freak me out. I got duty dots on my fingers. <laughs> Let it be. Are you having fun? I actually am. It was I was more stressful at first. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of it, you know. paint before you pop it out. I already discussed that too because you're gonna fill the cracks and like you're basically sealing it in there but then you still have to paint the edges like the size of it. I feel like it'd be hard to pop out. They're already hard enough to pop out without breaking all the fragile little pieces. Busted that chair backing into three pieces. Okay, and I think those are the stairs, and then we need this and this. Yeah. Do the steps. Poo smeared on my hands. <laughs> Listen, toilet, toilet paper is expensive these days. We're trying to cut back where we can. We've adapted to the stress yet. A drinking stream doing this? Oh God. That'd be a recipe for disaster. So yeah, these ones just have the stickers going on the top, so I could um, glue then paint if I want to, which I think I do want to. Because then you just need like one part to hold on to while you paint the rest. Whereas if you paint each individual little piece, you need a part to hold on to while you paint the rest. And then it's like each piece has a part you touched. Whereas when it's assembled, you just have to hold one piece of it and paint the rest. This does involve some metal to make the crank. Gonna have to bend metal again. I'm a metal bender. Oh, there's also a little dot. Small golden bead. Oh, that's for the base of the crank. Cute. Okay. It's so small! I'm like, I feel like we need these in view. Don't forget about me! said the chairs. This is what character building looks like. I think one of the small rectangles got lost under the cardboard. Oh. Yeah, there's supposed to be four 
steps plus that big one. Ah! Wait. It's stuck. Where is it? Maybe. Oh, here. This on the wood. Thank you. <laughs> I need it like open to see both pages. A line and glue. It's showing like three pieces all glued together in one step. It's showing this and the back piece and the butt piece, which is the square. Wait, does this go into the notch? Or no? I think it does. There's like a notch here. Yeah, because it shows that sticking up higher than the rest. Okay. So that goes in the notch. We can glue that first. <laughs> I need to clean the tip of the nozzle. It's like full of crusty glue. I don't even know if any of this is wet glue that's on here. I'm scared with the SpongeBob. Avoid the ones with plants. They're hell to make because it's all just paper. I made the mistake of my first kid being a greenhouse. Oh, I mean, mine does have plants. Nine of them, but a greenhouse? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm holding my breath that I'm not even the one gluing it. <laughs> Looks different versus the side versus there. Oh wait, I need to glue on this end too. And then the other side. Okay. Wow, ah, this glue is globbing. So I want to glue. So I'll scoop some up. So I'll glue this edge. And okay. 
I was like, did I put the wrong, this on the wrong side, but I didn't. This, because these sides are not the same. No, really, whoop. I, I'm scared that the legs are too splayed apart, so I feel like I gotta measure it with one of the steps. Ah! Because all the steps are the same width, so yeah. So this should just go straight down. Now you can't see shit. Yeah. I'm just kind of sandwiching the legs together so they stay together as it dries. Even though now like the tops don't really align right, but. It's close enough. I thought you had a chunk of nail polish missing, then remembered you got paint on your thumb. <laughs> your back's gonna be sore after this. Mm hmm. Zoomed in on the leaking glue right now. <laughs> Stop it. It's either a big kid's high chair, a lifeguard chair, or tennis umpire chair, but it's not a ladder. <laughs> yeah, it's like a really tall step stool with like a safety backing. <laughs> and for some reason, it's got a crank on it. Me, if I ever wanted to do miniatures, this stream has changed my mind. Also me, browses Amazon for book nut kits. <laughs> you should play Stray, it's a good game. I have played it actually. It was cute and sad. <laughs> sure. Your back sore, lol, wet your eyes from squinting at this tiny stuff. <laughs> All the above. I could bend the wire in the meantime, or is this stuff ready for, probably, we could probably glue the top paper on. And the table's done. Ta-da! Table close-up. These are not cute. some glue in here in the crack bend over please thank you now this might feel a little cold
Okay. <laughs> it's so cute! I just love the chairs so much. This one, I don't know if the crack, like where the paint met the glue, it's kind of lighter. But I mean, the paper might cover most of that. Cause this, let's just get a feel for the fit before we glue this down. In case I gotta trim it. Okay, no, it still fits. I wasn't sure if I glued the back of the chair too far forward. Cool. Hold up, there's kinky hairs. Back, finished me homework, yay! How dirty bending that chair over on stream. Would you consider doing a glossy clear coat, sealer clear coat over the paper on the table to really make it look like tile? I mean, is it supposed to look like tile? Or like a little, I mean, probably. I'd have to do a test on like some of the leftover stuff cause I don't wanna Smudge it, possibly. Smudge the ink. But it'd probably be a great idea f to do that to help future-proof the design. It's just a little piece of paper. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this little tiny chair. It's like the antique style with a little cushion. I, oh, I can't believe this. the other cushion on right away too. Another one. Hey, Vero. Almost missed the live, forgot it was Wednesday. <laughs> Wendy says, I gotta get food, forgot to eat lunch. Oh no. Fuck, this is the one that has the wet backing still. It's interesting that the chairs and table are mismatched, like they're painted different colors and then they have like mismatched papers on them. Okay. Chairs done, table done. We're almost done page two. I mean, we kind of are because we've gathered the materials other than the, the papers. So. There's the ladder, the high chair lifeguard ladder chair. We gotta mark, make markings and put the steps on. I mean, do the steps really need to be evenly spaced like that? I mean, no harm in making some marks. The first stool they have is below this horizontal brace. 
this thing just doesn't want to work today. <laughs> Hello. I also need to write like straight down. One, two, three, four. Can't I just eyeball this? I feel like, yeah, we can eyeball. Where these were attached to their frame. There's like little slivers of wood. <laughs> so, let's grab our tweezers. Oh wait, oh, wait, I skipped a step. We gotta add the cross brace in the back. Is the same height as the other horizontal braces. Okay. I need like a little piece of sandpaper smooth down because there's a little sliver on the ends of this because that's where it was attached. But that's exactly what's gonna like the part that's gonna be glued is not a flat edge. There's a little bump, and I'm scared the bump is gonna interfere with adhesion. One nice thing about painting after is you get like a little extra hold because the paint will also get in these cracks. Kind of act as an extra glue. Okay, so <laughs> I made the legs closer together, but the back edge is a little too tight. Gotta squeeze it apart, the brace in there. Or wait, the brace would have to be turned this way. Sorry if you can't really see this. Doing miniatures is one thing. Filming it is a whole other beast. Cross brace on. Now the steps. Which <laughs> they really only attach in like the back corners. See the way they measure the steps, there's like a big gap between the top step and like I'll show it in a second. Like their steps are evenly spaced, but the top part that looks like a seat, like a chair, is like a, there's a big gap between the steps and that. And like they put this first step too low. I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down because then I can like pinch it together as I go. Uh, I'm like, should I wait for that to dry a little bit? Or are we just going right in with the next step? We're going in. Where did I get the miniature kit? It was a gift from some friends of mine, but you can get them. Um, on Amazon, people were saying, and like Michaels. Does Michaels have this particular brand? I don't know. And I see them at like hobby stores in the mall and stuff. The brand is Ro Life, R O Life. What? Ah! Dude! <laughs> oh my god. Honey Cub is raiding with a party of 70. Holy crap, thank you. And, oh, that's the wrong one I'm adjusting. Welcome raiders. Give me one sec, I am in a precarious position. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm making this ladder, which looks kind of like a lifeguard chair, kind of like a high chair. For my miniature. <laughs> my first time doing a little miniature kit like this. This is what we're making, as you can see from the on-screen photo. <laughs> And we're, I've gotten through two pages out of 24. I did the green door frame and the cabinet, a front counter, two chairs and a table. But look at these baby chairs. Look at these. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. The double the Twitch viewership, yeah. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube. If the Raiders are curious. We multi-streaming. Well, welcome everybody, rar. <laughs> I applaud you for being able to do this so long in one sitting, yeah. We're five hours in. I'll go a little longer. I usually stop the stream around 5.45 since that's when supper's ready. Although today... We're just doing like microwave meals so I can eat that whenever, but I do have my shows to watch. So I still want to end around that time, but we'll see how far we can get on this lifeguard. I mean, <laughs> it's not a lifeguard chair. This ladder. These are the pieces. These are the steps. I'm choosing to assemble and then paint. It's just kind of easier that way tennis umpire chair <laughs> oh yeah I do have it set that oh no that's on never mind I was thinking YouTube but you have to be a subscriber <laughs> to chat. I don't remember if Twitch has any of those restrictions I stopped streaming on Twitch for a while because I moved the streams to YouTube since I was doing mostly non-gaming stuff at the time but now I'm just multi-streaming It ain't a ladder. So tiny and cute. That's so small. Oh my God, I'm gleeking here. Still love the cabinet the best. Well, one, I did not have to paint it. And even though the handles, I had to bend the metal on these handles. Okay, they made me bend this metal myself and cut it. So they're a little wonky, but you know what? We love it. We love the whimsy. And look at this table. Oop. Wow, so cute. I like the detail of like the double circle here. So yeah, now we're, oop, this one kind of got at a weird angle. Okay, we have two more steps to put on here. Ah, <laughs> it's so small. My stream keeps getting behind. Babe rude, my internet is being a butt. <laughs> Maybe a mistranslation, yeah. But also it makes sense that it is a ladder for like accessing stuff on a high shelf in the back. Cause like a high chair wouldn't have steps like that. Not a baby high chair anyway. <laughs> All right, baby, time to climb into your high chair. Wonkiness adds character, exactly. It's such a small point of attachment. <laughs> I gotta hold it. Okay. 
Not sure if you're seeing any of that. It's probably was slightly out of focus. We got step number three. I feel like I gotta keep pinching this to keep the legs from splaying. Uh, quick, get the last step. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Glue. The last step I put on before this one probably could have gone a little higher. I mean, it's still wet. <laughs> trying to get the depth right, trying to get the angle right. Okay, that's probably good enough. I might hold it while it dries a bit. Hold it for a couple minutes anyway. Bottom two steps up too close together. But if I move it down, it's like really low. Very low bottom step. Whatever, dude. What, is someone gonna break into my house, go over to my miniature display and be like, that ladder step. Look at those ladder steps. <laughs> Look at those lifeguard chair, baby high chair ladder steps. Guest comes over, races downstairs. It's like those TikToks I've seen where you have a guest come over and then they like immediately just start like charging everywhere and like looking for dust and looking for crumbs. <laughs> That's how it feels <laughs> when you're like, when you're having guests over. They're gonna see every little crumb. Oh my god. It's up you. Okay, let's find the papers for the, the little material on the steps. It'll be on sheet M. Okay, cool. That means, oh no, these are other ones I have to cut out myself. <laughs> but they're just rectangles. Thank you, whoever just ordered from my shop. I heard the order counter go up. <laughs> I wanna do another order packing stream, but like, I might have to stream on a different day. For like, if there's a week where I wanna pack orders on stream, I might have to switch up the date of the stream instead of a Wednesday, cause like, my mail pickups are Mondays and Thursdays. So in theory, Wednesday would be good because I have a couple days of orders built up but I get most of my orders on the weekend. So like Sunday, Monday are my big packing days. <laughs> so I'm like, I might have to move a stream to a Monday on a given week if I want it to be an order packing stream. Also, I've been doing my shop updates on Wednesdays. I might move them to Tuesdays so that I'm like ready for the Wednesday stream to pack orders. Cause day one, there's a lot of admin and stuff. So I've been starting the streams late, but then I still feel like I'm rushing to get everything done. So there's like a line, there's like a double line here. Cause you're supposed to cut up to the outside line and then they're just, is a line detail in the pattern, but it's gonna look like I cut outside the lines. It's not gonna look like it's a design element.
And maybe it's supposed to be like little fringe. Kind of risky me to be cutting these before I've even painted this thing. <laughs> I'll cut them into this. That didn't even go in. My kitchen light has been flickering with increasing frequency over the past few weeks and it's an LED so it's not supposed to flicker, which leads me to believe my kitchen must be haunted. They're like judging you for your ingredients and stuff or like how you prepare food. They're like, no, no, you did that wrong. It starts flickering. <laughs> Bye, Bella. Thanks for watching. Hi, Levi. Do Tuesdays, do Tuesdays while I work from home that day can see you. Tuesday wouldn't work because the mail goes out Monday. It would have to be a Sunday or a Monday. And that'd be like just the occasional one. That wouldn't be the new schedule because those that just doesn't work. But just for the occasional schedule change, if I really want it to be an order packing stream that week, and I'll, I'll just be like, all right, the stream is gonna be on Monday instead. Or Sunday. The thing about the Monday stream is I'd have to have the orders all packed by three o'clock at the absolute latest because that's around when the mailman comes. <laughs> Or I just hold off packing the orders. <laughs> Skip the Monday meal pickup. <laughs> it kind of looks like where you're supposed to fold it to be the side of the steps. I don't know if it's, what is it? I don't know if this set does stuff like that though. Yeah, this one, it shows that line being at the back of the step. Look up close, it almost looks like there's little lines, like maybe it's supposed to be fringe. Like it's a little carpet. Cause yeah, here it should, I mean, I don't even know if this is gonna show up. Probably not, but it shows the black line being at the back of the step. Okay. So we got those cut. <laughs> Can we glue on the this piece? Yes. Yes, I think I can. So the side that has these little gear line things. This goes kind of right there. So that it's sort of on top. So at the bottom of the gear can like grip that thing. It's just above it. Then there's gonna be a bead and then a piece of wire for the crank and the wire will go into the bead right in the middle of that. But that'll be for later. Honestly, we probably won't even get there today. I need that to dry so we can paint. That would be the next step, but we gotta let this dry now. So. <laughs> I feel like I need one more light over here. Like maybe I could have a ring light attached to this the same way I have a ring light attached, like attached to this is what I'm saying. Cause the one I have sitting over there has a ring light on the top of it. I could do something similar here. Although it'll make the camera sit even higher than it already does and the pole is as low as it goes. But I need like, especially cause I'm left-handed, I need light coming in from the right. But as soon as I try to hold stuff up close to the camera, it's like horrible lighting. Uh, uh. 
Like everything on this side is in shadow, kind of. Like if I hold this for example, it's like if I'm right under the ring light, it's pretty good. But I mean, this does not look the worst, but I just feel like I could use a little extra lighting, especially directional. I could possibly even get something else, like a little panel, a light panel or something. Cause some, you can get like accessories that clamp to a pole. So as long as the pole's the right size, I could have the light clamp to the side of the pole and I can turn it on if I need it. So right now I got all the curtains closed just to try to keep the lighting more even. <laughs> but yeah, I have a bit of like directional light from the left from the ceiling light. So then it's like, we need something on the right also. Is a kitty ghost demanding kibble? Did I miss a heist or did it glitch out? There was just a heist, yes. Offerings for the ancestors. Sorry for your loss, by the way. The kitty. It's 5.18. Maybe I should wind down soon. Like even look how in shadow these shelves are because it's such strong <laughs> top-down lighting. We need side lighting. Look at me, Mom! I'm failing on the internet!
back. <laughs> that died a little prematurely. <laughs> Normally it doesn't die by the five hour mark like that. Anyway, I was saying for those who weren't here earlier, <laughs> I was pointing out how this, like look how small the coffee cup is compared to my fingernail. And that photo is like bigger than what it actually even is. So we have all those little accessories to put on here. Oh my God, my shelves like sagging downward. Do you see that? <laughs> it's whimsy, it's whimsy. Old furniture is a little lopsided, you know. I feel like it's gonna look so much cuter than the pictures. Oh my God, here's a close-up of the ladder thing. There's gonna be some cute bricks. These little stairs that wrap around the outside. Uh, uh. Is this a whole sculpture mini thing? It's like, I don't know about sculpture, but it's mini craft stuff. Paper, wood, beads, wire. <laughs> Is this actual size? No. The chairs look actual size, though, in the picture. <laughs> That's, well, I guess not quite. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not really looking forward to the tree, but that's okay. <laughs> this big tree up here, you gotta wrap the wire from scratch, then wrap the brown tissue paper around it, glue on all the little flowers individually. <laughs> Those are the kind of ladders I feel safe on. <laughs> Can apparently get them from Amazon Michael. She got it as a gift, yeah. It's a popular miniature brand, Real Life. Real Life. Roll out. Okay, I'm gonna like start packing up some of this stuff. I got all my little papers sitting out here waiting to be destroyed or get something spilt on them. Here, let's actually switch to top down and maybe zoom out a bit. You're gonna see a <laughs> little crotch cam. You gotta pay extra for that, sorry. Uh oh, the adhesive is trying to pull stuff off. <laughs> Can I get these back in there without the adhesive being evil? gonna stick it down and then see so yeah, this was a little stressful at first but now that I'm kind of getting the hang of this it's fun <laughs> it's satisfying seeing the pieces come together too at first I was just like painting, painting. Then once I started putting things together, I'm like, oh, this is magical. And there's a lot of stuff left. We're on page two of 24, people. 
no, we're on page three now. But it's like, yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. Labeled page four of labeled 25. Let's see how we did that and that. We're working on this. We finished two pages, really, you could say. And we're working on the third. Ooh, the roof is next. Oh my, what in the fresh hell is this? Uh, 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 Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's all these, I guess. Okay, they're not as small as I thought. Okay, that's a separate sheet. So all of these and all of these. Oh yeah. Okay. Then we got our paint supply sheet. But some of the stuff listed on here, you don't actually have to paint. Some of this pre-painted like all that. I thought that looked larger than scale, but it wasn't. Oh my God, even this metal piece, it's like twist the pedals 90 degrees. They make you do everything. This, this, rules. Will there be more of your diamond paintings on Diamond Art Club? I reached out and submitted some designs, but people have to vote for them. When they do their Facebook votes, join their VIP Facebook group to vote on upcoming ones. How often do they put up stuff to vote on? Is it kind of like they drop a big batch to vote on and it's like once a month or what's the deal with that? I guess I gotta join the VIP group myself and find out. I thought they had to be made of wire for a minute, the roof parts. <laughs> I'm so gonna vote for you. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be the Little Duckies, Tulip Bun and Midnight Rain. Did they let you vote for multiples? I really got to get on that group and find out how this all works. Okay, this, I think I'm just going to chuck. I was using it to put glue on, but it's toast. Duckies. I feel like the ducky one kind of makes the best diamond painting. It's colorful and it's got like clear areas of color. It depends what people are looking for in a diamond painting, obviously. Everyone's got different preferences. You have to be verified buyer. Oh fuck, then I might not even be able to get in because my diamond paintings, they sent me for free. Uh, how am I supposed to game the system if I can't have you guys vote bot for me? It's 
That's not toast, it's a piece of scrap wood. <laughs> oh! Oh, I see it now. I'm freaking out now. On a whim, I put fresh kibble in his dish and put it on the floor in the usual spot and the kitchen light has not flickered once since. Baby. Okay, hanging on to the cardboard. This is a nice little work surface, but this is kind of like good backup to set stuff on, like when the paint is drying. So we'll hang on to those. keep some of my completed pieces in these little boxes. These chairs are just, they're so great. I love them. This I'm probably just gonna put in here for the sake of space along with the little papers I cut. Can the three design win because you're so popular? I'm assuming they take like the top however many popular designs. So it's probably possible. We'll see. And I'm not sure if some get like put back into rotation if they don't win. Because before when I did previous diamond paintings with them, they would just take my designs and make them. So they kind of switched up to a voting system, which I think makes sense. Like they were gonna manufacture the top sellers, obviously. Oh, I was like looking for the lid for this. It's in there. It, this will just stay with the kit stuff, I guess. Well, maybe just I might work on this a bit off stream. I'm, I'm telling you, this is this is some good stuff. I should have a little box of the tools I've been using for this so that they're just together. Now, where would I find a box? Hmm. Honestly, this is maybe what I should use for my completed pieces because it's shallower than these little things. Okay, I shouldn't hoard. That should go back with our tools. I can grab it again next time. Sure, I like that brush size for this stuff. And we'll take the glue brush. This other one's gonna go back with my brushes. Me, I'm gonna work on this again soon. Me a month later. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's make sure the paint lid's on all the way. Oh my God, perfect fit. Okay, this doesn't really fit in there. But some of this is just gonna go back in the original box anyway. These remind me of Lego pieces. Like, I, oh, the fence, I was like, it's reminding me of a specific piece, the little white fence pieces for Lego. That's what it's making me think of. So yeah, it's all gonna fit in this thing. This has plastic around it right now, but. The whole thing's gonna fit in here. <laughs> and the brick base. 
so fancy. These have to sit on top, I think. One thing that might be nice actually is just take this out and then I can fit everything else in here more comfortably and like, I could tuck these in here for now. Eventually I'm probably, I'm gonna use more boxes like this to hold the pieces, cause it's gonna get crazy. Or even like smaller ones for <laughs> the accessories. should just take this stuff out of this box and just put it all in there but let's try fitting the box in there Woo. don't rest on this though okay yeah bun bun pieces I'll just go tuck it on the shelf wait oh, I forgot something there are batteries this just says you might get this tweezer or the other that can go recycling scan QR code for news and offers that can also recycle Let's get the batteries in here though I have like five different tweezers now because of all my kits. I really should have set up an Amazon affiliate link. Everyone keeps looking these up. <laughs> I can for the next one, I guess. <sighs> it could just be for a generic search for them. Cause like, you know, if someone has an Amazon affiliate link, anything you buy after clicking the link, they get a commission on. You don't have to buy specifically the item that they linked. And you can even link to search results. So I could do that. Everyone's looking these up now. I'm like, dang, I need a cut of this. <laughs> that is empty, empty, okay. Not even one drop left. Got the greenhouse for a life book nook just yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so excited. So excited. I'm gonna hang on to this for now too. Maybe I can just slip it back on. Because it's nice to look at it kind of for reference. So, yeah, I guess that is the end of the stream. Oh, that's quarter to six, perfect timing. I'm gonna get myself some food and watch. Love is Blind and the Survivor season premiere. <laughs> so pretty good day, miniatures and TV, woo. <laughs> While also live streaming, yay. My job sells them so I get mine at a discount, nice. Looking at the kits on Amazon, I swear I saw similar ones in Japan in the Small World Museum. <laughs> I mean, is this like a Japanese brand? Made in China. I mean, it doesn't mean it's not a Japanese brand. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm ending it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was fun. This will be a fun little thing to slowly chip away at on streams. Enjoy your night, I'm off to work. Oh, oh no.
Marmalade Mercantile for some cute styles. Yo, yo, I'm back. Oh, I'm ending, but I'm literally saying goodbye. Bye, Brooklyn. Too little, too late. I'm off to East Upper and watch my shows. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you.